trying to get this thing figured out. Uh, you guys hear me? I know nobody's there, but I'm just talking. Don't really know what happens after this, after I cut it, if it saves it or what happens with that. But, uh, yeah. So, doing 10 minutes on this, going slower than I usually do. But, uh, yeah. I could do my 10 minutes. I'm going to hit back and by. Nothing crazy, but, yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. I got these. So, like I said, doing 10 minutes of this. Going over to do some back and buys. <clears throat> Perfect. Thank you. So, it's been a while. It's been a long while. But, uh, trying to find out exactly what I want my schedule to be and if I should stream every day or frequency of the videos, that kind of thing, because I'm also working with uh, my full-time job, which is home and modeling, so I'm going to work around that, but looking to make this a, a thing in 2021, and hopefully beyond. Uh, so I actually, uh, switched career paths, I guess you can say, <clears throat> um, doing home remodeling now. So stop training people one-on-one -on -one and that kind of thing in a gym setting. Um, so it's funny, actually pretty much my whole life growing up, I did, uh, home remodeling and construction, that type of stuff. So basically I'm getting back to what I did then. Even in the Marine Corps, uh, I was an engineer. We did a lot of stuff, overseas construction and that kind of stuff for humanitarian stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just what I know. But like I said, gonna try to make this uh maybe not full time but we'll see how it goes if it goes well then i'll make more videos do more live streams and i'm way too out of breath i lift too much i need to do more cardio
So, yeah, like I said, basically just trying to find out uh, what I want my schedule to be. I go to the gym at least five days a week, uh, sometimes six. Let's just say mostly six. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream every workout, every other workout or special workouts or how that's going to go. But I'll just keep going and hopefully more people will start watching, motivate more people, get more people going, especially especially with the new year. Yes, sir. Married and two kids. Thank you. Youngest one is about almost 11 months, or sorry, weeks, 11 weeks old. The older one is turning two, uh, Next week, Tuesday. All right. It's been 10 minutes. I'm not lying. It says 12. So I'm stopping this fucking day. So, might be a little bit of a strange workout for me today. Sorry about the weird angles, trying to get this the tripod thing set up. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize uh, as far as music, it was either one or the other. A stream or damn, is my camera really that dirty? Oh. It's a little better. But yeah, I didn't realize it was either uh, either or. I need to get a actual streaming device or a second phone or something so that I can listen to music on the other one and still be able to talk to you guys. Hold up. It'll get better, I swear. <laughs> it's all fucking janky right now. Once I get set up, then I'll be good. All right, I'm about to swipe down on my thing. Hopefully, this doesn't close it. All right, good. You're still there. All right. So I, was like, I guess I'll show you on my gym real quick. Well, not my gym, but the gym I go to. Um, so I'm upstairs right now. Turn this around. Upstairs right now, like I said, this is the cardio area. I too much cardio equipment. This is all I use right here, though. Stairmaster. Um, and looking down... We got some machines here. We got a pretty nice turf area. Uh, machines over there. Some leg stuff down here. Uh, you can see the squat racks back there. Um, some leg stuff over here. Hamstring curl, leg extension, leg press over here. Uh, free benches, curl, curl rack. Um, some little, uh, whatever the hell you call those try kind of treadmills. A cage over here. My bad, my fingers. Um, they do have one heavy bag. That's it. Uh, it's all right. Um, so yeah, and back over here, they got a, uh, 
what do you call it? Aerobics room, uh, cycle class, and then a yoga room over here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sauna, steam room, and locker room. Obviously, can't bring you guys in there. Um, but yeah. So, let's get this workout. So, just a little update for you five people watching. Um, basically, for the past however many years, and I'm sorry if I'm messing with the mic. I don't know where it's actually at on these headphones. It could be right where my fingers are touching, so it might be loud. But if it is, I'm sorry. But anyway, for the past, uh, what's it been? Four years? Five years? Yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, for that time, for that time period, um, I have switched to Homer modeling, so I've been doing that out here. Um, we'll start with some lat pull downs. Um, I've been doing that out here in Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas Um Yeah, I've been doing that for the past four or five years. Switched from personal training because uh, nothing wrong with it. I like it a lot, but it ain't where the money's at per se, unless that's like a, if you're trying to make it that, then yeah, it can be. But my path went elsewhere. Um, <clears throat> so sorry, get this camera straightened out. Um, it's about a good angle for you. All right, this is decent. Um, but yeah, like I said, home remodeling. I've been doing that for a while. Also, let me know if you can hear me still from my headphones, because I don't know if the sound, if the microphone is going to the phone or to my headphones. So I also kind of have my screen a little dim too. So my battery is the last longer. I'll check it after this set. Um, but yeah, Let's see how much I am gonna be streaming in the future, in the near future, if not even tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but, again, no music, so let's see how this goes. This is only 130 pounds right now. It's a nice warm up. Um, where have I been? I've been fucking doing other shit. Sorry, I don't know about the language. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I mean, I know I've only been live for like 15 minutes. And it's the first one of many to come. So I'm going to be repeating myself a lot, probably for the next couple of weeks. But that's okay. Um, anyway, I've been switched over to Homer modeling. Uh, been doing that for about five years now. Um, yeah. So right now, I'm kind of at a point where I'm pretty stable with the Homer modeling thing. But I already have somewhat of a following with the, you know, my YouTube channel, obviously, you guys are here now. Uh, so, trying to keep that going, just so it doesn't go to waste. 
I'm gonna see where it goes. I don't know what I'm gonna do more between uh, streaming and posting videos. Probably a little bit of both. Maybe sometime in the future I'll get a, a cameraman or something to do to take uh, videos while I'm streaming simultaneously, so I can actually have some some video content aside from just just streams. Although, like I said, when I just started uh, the stream. I don't actually know what happens with this. I don't know if this gets saved. I don't know if it disappears. I don't really know. But whatever happens, happens. I guess I'll find out after this. I'll probably be streaming for eh, only like hour and a half, maybe two. Depends on how long I'm in the gym. This gym actually closes at 11 Central Time. And I have no idea what time it is now because there are zero clocks in here. So kind of just trying to play it by feel, I guess. But I'm going to get some chalk for my hands, actually. I was just thinking going uh, portrait mode so you can actually see everything that's going on. But this will do, I guess. <clears throat> Hopefully nobody kicks over the camera. There are people right behind you. It's only 175, so we'll go for... I don't fucking know. We'll just go. Said I'll put it at 205. Nobody saying anything. Nope. It's all so I guess I'll just keep talking. I am. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I was going to say before. Uh, basically, the Homer modeling thing. So fitness-wise, what I've been doing for myself, uh, I've been kind of, uh, kind of on and off. I've, I've been trying to go somewhat consistently. I mean, I have been this year, or I guess last year, 2020, aside from the lockdown, of course. Uh, which, by the way, I don't know where y'all are at, but out here in Kansas, um, it wasn't too bad. I'm actually right on the border of Kansas and Missouri. Uh, and on the Missouri side, it was actually worse than here. I don't know exactly why. Um, but yeah, so we, our gym shut down over here from, I want to say April to June. Maybe March to June, March to July. I don't know. Something like that. But I got up to, I weigh like 197.8 right now. <laughs> I just said like 197.8. I weigh exactly 197.8 right now. Um, uh, during the lockdown, I got up to 210. And yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't feeling that great. Looking in the mirror, wasn't too happy with what I was seeing. So, decided to go double time. Not necessarily double time, but go harder in the gym than I was, uh, obviously, during lockdown, because I live at home. And some kettlebells, slam balls, uh, bands, little mini hurdles, 
just small stuff. And it actually wouldn't have been a big deal if, sorry, I saw a message pop up. I'm going to check that in a second. Um, it wouldn't have been a big, as big a deal if right before the lockdown, uh, I wasn't doing powerlifting. So I started powerlifting, I want to say, was it October? I may have been around October 20, uh, 2019. So basically from then to the time that the gyms shut down in 2020, I was doing all powerlifting stuff. So I was like, fuck bands, fuck kettlebells, fuck slam balls, all that stuff. And I was mostly focused on squat bench deadlift, trying to get those numbers up. Not really worrying about necessarily what I look like or anything like that. Just just trying to get really strong. So I did get up to about 205 because of that. Um, and then, like I said, locked down, got up to 210 and just wasn't, uh, yeah, wasn't feeling myself. Wasn't really liking what I saw in the mirror. So, like I said, decided to go even harder now and I'm down to 197.8. I uh, just checked my body fat this morning, and it's the caliper, so it's not extremely accurate, but it's at a 6.86%. Um, so what I, I don't really look for precise numbers with, with the calipers. I just look for a change in numbers. So if last month it said, you know, 7%, the month before that said 8 the month before that said 9 I don't really care if the numbers are completely accurate. I just care about the change between the numbers each month. So I could be 10% body fat. Who knows? But that means last month I was 11. The month before that I was 12, 13, so on, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, just trying to make progress. It took too much rest time, so got to get this set. I'm at 205 now. And this one goes up to 295. Probably won't go all the way there because I'm not doing strength per se right now. But So just to prove it to you that I'm actually doing uh, 205, let me turn this thing around if I can do it. 205. So I'm going to sit it to 2 and 35. Then we'll see what I can do. Let me check this out. Uh, I've been following your old vids. Forever glad to see you back. Hey, thanks, man. Looks like you've been doing good with no muscle mass since military. Hell yeah. You still think it's gold, bro. Thanks, guys. Um, so, it's kind of funny. Um, well, not really funny to me. Kind of sad a little bit. But, so the reason why, right now, why I've been hitting it so hard <laughs> is because... Uh, with powerlifting, size is kind of secondary. It's, it's mostly about the weight that you're putting up. So just doing much as much as you possibly can. Um, <laughs> I was scrolling through. I found my old hard drive on my or for, from my old laptop back from. I think I stopped using that laptop back in twenty. 15, I want to say, 15 or 16, but I had backed up all my pictures and everything onto a hard drive, external hard drive, and then the, the battery on my computer expanded, and I couldn't use it anymore, but now we have a new computer, a new laptop, uh, so I've been using that, so I was like, eh, let me check out this old hard drive, probably a couple weeks ago, and maybe around a month ago, but um, got on there, 
and found all my old pictures from like right out the military and when I was in the military. And in those pictures, I was probably around, I want to say uh, five, like it was crazy, like around 5% body fat, maybe a little less. I looked stupid, like not in a bad way, but um, super lean. And there I was sitting around 205 pounds, uh, looking at those pictures, probably around, I don't know, 10% body fat, which is not a lot. I'm not saying this to say that it's a lot. I'm saying that compared to four or five, it's like on my body is night and day difference because I'm I'm only 5'9". I don't know if I should say that. Maybe y'all think I'm taller. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm 6'4". I'm six six <laughs> no, but 5'9". Uh, five, five and um, on my body, a couple percentage points makes more of a difference for somebody who's I'm average height. Somebody who's average height. Um, but uh, yeah, so I looked at those pictures and I was just like, damn, I can't believe, I can't believe I used to look like this. And it, it literally looked like a different person. Like I forgot that my body could even remotely look like that. So yeah, I've been, uh, ever since then, I kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it got to me. But ever since then, I've been kind of uh, going extra hard because I'm trying to get back to that. And actually, I don't even know if I, if I want to get back to it. Okay, I do want to get back to it, but I don't know if I want to maintain there. I'll probably maintain around where I'm at right now. I just want to get back there just to to see it again. I'm 29 years old now. I'm not a uh, 22, 23 like I was in those first videos. Actually, the first videos I posted, I was uh, probably 21, I think. But um, let me get this set and shut up. Because I uh, went over a long time without getting any trims or anything. So, oh God, this is that crooked. I went a long time without getting trims or anything. So, um, I got some dead ends on it. Split ends, whatever you call it. And yeah, I was basically like, uh, tell me how much, 
how much is uh, him, how much is actually dead, how much I need to get trimmed off. And it's my wife's mom. She used to be a, uh, I don't even know what you call it, salon or stylist, or whatever. She used to own a salon. Uh, so she does hair or did hair. And I was just like, let me know how much needs to be cut off or how much needs to be trimmed. I was thinking like fucking two inches or something. And she was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, how much? She was like, probably around five inches. And I was like, damn. So it was either let it keep growing. It would have gotten longer. Let it keep growing. Um, Keep letting those split ends growing, you know, deeper and deeper. Uh... And eventually just have them start breaking off and not growing because it's breaking so much. Or trim it off and have it start growing again. So I decided to have it trimmed. More like a cut, actually. But, yeah. So it was actually longer than this at one point. About uh, two and a half months ago. So I'm trying to get it trimmed every two months or so. As for her recommendation... So, also, this is going to be, this is kind of a slow workout because I'm supposed to be drinking water throughout the day as I do uh, when I'm remodeling homes. Uh, I'm supposed to be drinking water throughout the day, but I'm kind of like a camel. I like to drink water, except in huge portions. So, like, a half a gallon in one sitting, and then don't drink water again for, like, 10 hours and then drink another half a gallon, and that's my gallon for the day, which is not really good. I mean, better than nothing, but. Um, and I also, bring it up to 250, by the way. Um, I also do intermittent fasting. I don't remember if I mentioned it in my other, my old videos, but I do intermittent fasting. Uh, basically have a two hour, one meal window right now. So all of my, all of my calories, I'm getting in a, getting in one sitting while trying to help with entertaining two kids and taking care of all that. But yeah, it's actually not bad because same as my water consumption, I'm kind of a glutton when it comes to food. I like to eat a lot when I do eat. So it helps me out because in that sitting, I could just eat as much as I want and then just don't eat for the rest of the day, which my window is, uh, depends when I get home and it depends what time I go to the gym. If I get home and eat immediately, or so if I get home and then I'm going to go to the gym later around nine, then I'll eat before I go to the gym around, uh, six thirty. but then I'll just eat for, you know, until I'm done eating about hour and a half, two hours. If I go to the gym, as soon as I get home, I'll work out around 5.30 and then eat afterward, which I kind of like that better just because uh, the last thing I do is eat as opposed to going to the gym or eating and then going to the gym when I get back. I'm actually not really hungry, but as it gets closer to midnight, 1, 2 a.m., I start getting hungry again. So I got to drink water or, and force myself to not eat again. All right, 250 pounds. Uh, I said eight last time, got 11. I'm going to do, I'll actually go for eight this time. Which, this time I'll probably get less. Good form. 
go up to 265. This one goes up to 295, like I said. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly surprised. I see that there's six people watching right now. Five now. <laughs> um, sorry, kind of trying to hold this thing still while I'm doing all this. Let me check my messages real quick. And nobody likes me. We're good. Actually, I don't even know if people message me while I'm doing this because it's on the same phone. If people message me while I'm doing this, what'll happen? Say, so, you know what? Actually, uh, I should probably put this in airplane mode or uh, do not disturb. Yeah, let me do that. Damn it. All right. So now if I get a call, hopefully it doesn't go through all the way. And if it does, because I'm on Wi-Fi, hopefully it doesn't cut the stream. But if the stream doesn't, I'll start it right back up. It's motivational to do and keep fit during the pandemic. Sure. Yeah. That's, uh, I know that's hard for a lot of people. Hell, a lot of people have trouble staying fit when uh, nothing like this is going on. So I know when, uh, with something like this going on, I know it's hard for people harder for people, but now everybody just wants to stay home and be away from all this crap. I don't know about the politics for where you guys are at, but over here, it's pretty, it's pretty lax. Um, when we're working out, we don't have to wear a mask. Um, as long as we're in, like on the gym floor or on the cardio floor. We don't have to wear a mask. Um, but, I mean, all masking is kind of weird. But uh, when, we're walk- when we walk in, we have to have a mask on. When we're on, like, by the front desk and all that, we have to have a mask on. But then, whenever we are working out, we don't have to wear a mask. So, definitely not complaining. It's just a little strange. But... Hey, I'd rather work out without a mask anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know where it's, what it's like with you guys, but it's pretty chill over here. So hopefully you guys are able to able to work out and not kill yourself. I might do one or two more sets of this. One for sure. Maybe two. And then we'll get some something that's pretty for the camera, like some, some curls or something. Cause uh lat pull downs is kinda so so for spectators anyway. Feels great, but okay, it's not a lot of people. I'm surprised yesterday. Yesterday there were um, it was packed. It was completely packed in here. Um, but for some reason, so I did ham and glutes yesterday. My favorite workout. If you guys haven't noticed by the videos, um, I did ham and glutes yesterday. Romanian deadlifts and uh, wide stance lunges, hamstring curls, uh, reverse. Uh, Hypers are actually just, you know, hip extension, hyperextension, whatever the hell it's called. Um, then a low back machine on the far end. But uh, yeah, it was good. But like I said, it was the first Monday of the year, yet nobody wanted to do legs. 
So, wasn't complaining. By the way, this is probably going to be around the time that I usually stream. If I if I do stream every day, this is probably going to be around the time, because uh, around five thirty my time, pretty much five thirty to like eight, is crazy packed here. Um, and it would just be, it'd be too much. People kicking over my camera and walking in front of it, and hard to get machines, all that kind of stuff. So. <clears throat> Get this thing set up and get another set. Also, I don't know if you guys know what Twitch is or if you watch Twitch or anything, but uh, I'm thinking about streaming. So basically what I'm trying to decide right now is whether I'm going to stream here or on Twitch. Um, obviously, this might be the better deal for me just because I already have my page set up on here. Um, so yeah, just kind of keep everything consolidated, everything in one place. So I probably might do that, but I'm also, man, I got a lot on my mind. Uh, I'm, I'm also thinking about streaming my work, which is, like I said before, home remodeling. And uh, so if I do that, it obviously won't be on the same fitness channel. I'll probably I'll have to start a new channel for that. Um, or if I just do it on Twitch, then that could be its own thing, which I know uh, Twitch is kind of... It might be better for, it's, it's definitely more set up for streaming uh, or it's, it's uh, more organic there, I guess you could say, since that's really like the first big streaming platform. So I might do my work stuff on Twitch and then my fitness stuff on here, since I already have fitness stuff on here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. My brain's going too much. I need to get this set and I'll talk some more. 265 now. Now maybe I'll get eight. I got a 10, I think, the last set. And I said I was going to get eight. So, Also, let me know if this music in the background is too loud. I'm trying to talk over it. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And I don't know how much that sound is actually coming in uh, from the speakers. But hopefully I've just been talking to myself this whole time. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, there's more gyms around here, and I can always find some now. And a half. I feel good. I think that'll be my last one for that. Go over do some curls. It's a dude I know over there. He's been following me around all these gyms. Nah, not really. This one just got remodeled, so a lot of people from my old gym came to this one. By the way, thanks again for the, I don't know, it's jumping between five and seven. But thank you for your lo for you loyal few. <laughs> I don't know why you're here, but I appreciate it. I think that's everything. So for curls, 
I'm just gonna do alternating dumbbell curls. I'll probably do uh, start with 35 as a little warm up, then go 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Six sets. But I don't know if I'll go up to 60. I'll go up to 50 for sure. Maybe 55. We'll see. I'm gonna set my stuff down. Go get me some water. Twitch is cool. Yeah. I'm also, I play a lot of video games. Sorry, that speaker is right there. I play video games too. So I'm not good enough to stream that. <laughs> I'm, I just play for fun. Right now I play uh, Apex, Rocket League, and Smite. Mostly, but I uh, wonder if I can set this thing up on one of these sets of dumbbells because it's just kind of not a good. Actually, I'm gonna grab one of these boxes. This is what I do for my videos sometimes. Um, but yeah, those are my games right now. I don't know if y'all know I play video games, but I do. As long as it doesn't interfere with my daily activities. Ah, damn this freaking landscape. Sorry, earthquake. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get to a spot where you can see me. Like I said, I have my screen so dim so I can save battery. I don't even know if y'all can really see me very well. But it's a test stream. I also wish there was some kind of feedback in this microphone so I could hear myself. And I'm kind of just guessing with my volume and everything. For those of you that are listening now, or watching, I should say, how long have you, or how long, uh, how long ago did you see my page? Because I'm assuming, actually, I don't know. I was going to say, I'm assuming it's probably not brand new people, but that's just a guess. Just curious. Like I said, I think my first video that I posted was in uh, 2011. It's either late 2010 or early 2011. Or maybe it was late 2011. I don't really remember. 10, 11, 12, 13. I joined the Marine Corps in 2009. Left in 13, got to North Carolina in uh, nine, 10, I think 2011. So yeah, I would have had to have been 11 or 12 when I posted those first videos. And then like 14 or 15 when I posted my next 
few. But it's been a long while, like some years. Yeah, it's been some years. Notification came through for who? Me? Let me check. Let me check. I don't see anything. I don't know. I'm new to this. I don't really know how to work it. But yeah, it's been a while. <clears throat> I'll remember you guys, though. Who is it? Derek. I don't really know how to say your name. I'm not going to lie. Dejuan. Devon. Yeah. And then Josh in the beginning. All right, I'm gonna remember those names. So, in five years, when I'm a, when I'm a big big streamer slash YouTuber, y'all get uh, I don't really know what I can <laughs> what I can do, but I don't know. I was gonna say like I know on Twitch they do uh, different sub sub tier tier levels and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, notification came through from my channel. Oh, you mean that I was uh, going live? Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So that probably means you've been uh, subscribed for a while and you have the notification thing turned on. <clears throat> Nice. Two years ago. Back when I wasn't doing shit. <laughs> Which I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I know how it is to start watching a YouTuber or a streamer and then all of a sudden they disappear. And I'm talking too much. I need to work out. I know how it is to uh, start following somebody and you know get into their stuff and all of a sudden, they stop streaming. I stop posting videos. Uh, <laughs> all right, 40 pounds this time. Last set I did 15 minutes each arm as a warm up. Seventeen reps. Move up to forty fives. Next set. It's kind of crazy how uh, how easy it is now to just start a start a stream from your phone and uh, just start going. I know some uh, other people probably have more elaborate setups where you got the shit in the corners and flashing lights and ads and all that other crap their logo and music in the background. I'll be there someday. Right now, I'm just trying to... Man, I've... so many times last year, I was like, 
man, I got this thing. I need to, I need to keep going with it. I need to just do it. And I was like, just kind of stuck because I wanted to start, but I wanted it also to be perfect when I started. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have what six thousand subscribers, which I'm not bragging at all because that that ain't shit. It's gonna be more soon. But um, <laughs> in my mind, which is obviously inaccurate and dumb, I was like, well, I got six thousand subscribers. I want to set it up and hype it up and do all this shit to where my first live stream is like six thousand people, which that would never happen. I mean, not saying I would never have six thousand people, but if you only have six thousand subscribers. Obviously, you're not going to have 6,000 people watching. Um, But yeah, I was like uh, psyching myself out because, like I said, I wanted it to be a certain way when what I should have done is just what I'm doing now. You know, it's not perfect. It's probably (laughs) worse than it it could be if I would have actually planned for it. But uh it is what it is. I'm doing the damn thing. And I'll look back. I'll look back on this in 10 years. Damn, I'll be like 40 years old then. Almost 40. Anyway, I'll, that's like Hodge Twins age, so I ain't tripping. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elliot Hulse. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll look back on this in 10 years. Did I say 40? I meant 10 if I said 40. Anyways, I'll look back on this in 10 years and be like, damn. That was really unprofessional. I probably should have set that up more, but it don't matter because now I got million viewers, or uh, not viewers, <laughs> uh, subscribers. But yeah, man, for men, ladies, all you people out there, um, true. Very true. I mean, and it's funny because uh, with with home remodeling, I actually started my own business. And for some reason, with most things, so if it's like something that's physical that I have to put my hands on and just do it, it's easier for me to start it. But for some reason with the online stuff, like my website and streaming, posting videos, that kind of stuff, it's more of a hesitation for some reason. <clears throat> No, no, no. Which one are you on? I'm on neither. I'm just standing here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, like I said, doing stuff like physically in person, it's a lot easier because I mean, if, as long as I have the physical skill or whatever to do it, just hop in and you know do the thing. But uh, yeah, with the online stuff, I've never been like really tech savvy or anything like that so i think it's i mean i know it's just fear of uh not necessarily failure because i know i'm gonna fail but mm, i don't know being a perfectionist i just want it to be the best that it can be but a lot of perfectionists are are procrastinators and a lot of procrastinators are perfectionists so it's just one of those things um (laughs) <laughs> and I am both. But, uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm doing it. I got no excuse now. Shit, I got fucking five to seven people watching this at any point. So that's five to seven. Yeah, true. Elliot knows. <laughs> yeah, he did start small. And I think uh, it's, it's about who you know as well. Because uh, I know he started, like you said, he started small. And then um, Hodge Twins actually shouted him out. I think they said something about him, like, because uh, they're all light-skinned, you know, fitness fitness guys. Um, Hodge Twins basically said something about him, like, uh, go check him out. He's, like, the smarter version of us, the, non, the non-redneck country versions of us, because they call themselves rednecks and country, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he said they're the smarter version of, him, of them. And his page kind of blew up that way, too. So, yeah, it's all about the shout-outs and getting recognition, too.
man. Yeah. I think that's what happened before. Um, I kind of put like all those videos fairly rapidly. I wouldn't say rapid is a good word, but uh, pretty consistently, like five videos or something like that. Three, three glute workouts and uh, abs and chest. And, yeah, I think there were like five, maybe shit, maybe even seven. I don't know. Not as many as it should as it could have been and should have been, but um, yeah. So actually, that and um, I don't know how many people or of you know, but I was actually in an online online magazine from uh, Essence Online Magazine. Um, I don't even know if you call it a magazine, but the Essence Online page or whatever. I was featured in that because some scout or something, modeling, whatever guy, found me. And I thought it was bullshitting at first. He was like, oh, I'm out in Cali and I got this and that and these people, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, eh, whatever. Send your little photographer out. I'm just I didn't say it like that. <laughs> uh, but he sent this guy out. Um, did the photo shoot, and next thing you know, I was on, actually was on Essence Online, like a legit magazine, not some bullshit, you know, great value version. I was like, oh, damn. And then I got some, some uh, recognition from that. Um, then yeah. So we'll see if I can't get some more stuff going. I have a uh, couple guys on my Facebook that want to do photo shoots. Except one of them is out in Wichita, Kansas, which is sounds a long way, but that's only it's three hours for me. But that's each direction, and I got two kids. And, I don't know. I just gotta find that. I need to make the time is what I need to do. Um, seems like a cool dude. I just got to stop bullshitting and just get out there. Do the shoot. Maybe he can give me some recognition. Yeah, being consistent in streaming and posting videos makes a difference. Yeah. Upload once a week about 20 to, or sorry, about 30, 40 videos. Uh, that will get you notice. Yeah, I saw the essence picture. Nice. Yeah, yeah, 30 to 40. That's, I don't know. I would say that sounds about right, but honestly, I have no idea. I just know that on YouTube, sometimes if I'm scrolling through people and I see um, somebody that has some interesting stuff, but they only post like twice a year or something, I'm like, oh, these are cool videos, but. When am I going to be able to see more of this person or more of what they do? So that's why I say Twitch, because um, with Twitch, since it's just a streaming platform, if that's all I'm going to do, then that's just, you know, that's just what I do. Um, and I know a lot of streamers have, they post YouTube videos and that kind of stuff too. Actually, probably most of them, most of the bigger ones anyway. Um, not necessarily trying to get to that level. That would be cool. But that would mean I'd have to slow down with my daily work, which is home remodeling. So, oh well, whatever, whatever's making money, right? <clears throat> and whatever I love. It's not all about the money. A little bit. All right, a lot of bit. But... <laughs> all right, 50 pounds. Yeah. <sighs> 
This is heavier. Uh, 13. How many did I do last set? I don't even know. I feel like I did 12 or something. I'm all over the place. I guess this just proves that it's mind over matter. If you want to do more, you do more. Fifty-five. Just so you know, I'm not lying. And yeah, like I said, sorry about adjusting myself all the time. I'm not used to wearing underwear. I'm wearing these, uh, whatever the hell they're called, Under Armour shits, compression shorts. Uncomfortable, but these shorts are also kind of old. <laughs> and if I rip a, a seam or a hem, I ain't trying to get reported. Videos from Twitch and posting them on the air, which is not bad anyway. Clips of views, sir. Yeah, that's true. The only thing with this, though, why gaming is a little different, in my opinion, is uh, with gaming, you know, it's just a screen and you got a little dude, you know, you're in the corner. Um, uh, thanks, Willie. I'm glad you're glad to see me back. <laughs> I guess I'm glad to be back. So what time is it? This place closes at... Uh, wrong one. Oh, damn, I only got 20 minutes. 20 minutes in the gym, anyway. Um, what was I saying? I got ADD. I can't focus. <laughs> oh, yeah. The difference between gaming and uh, fitness and that kind of stuff is with gaming, you're just, you're playing normally, but you got highlights in, in the during the stream. You might have, you know, you got moderators and that kind of stuff that'll do clips and uh, uh, what do you call it? Like basically bookmark times during the stream where you know, something crazy happened or you got, it'll, it'll be good for content. <clears throat> um, and then they do that and they got editors and all that kind of stuff, which I'm not knocking for it for sure because eventually I'll need to get editors and like I said before, maybe a videographer or just some dude <laughs> hold a camera and look weird while I'm working out. But um, I know uh, all the other YouTube videos, they got someone behind the camera. It's not just floating there. That would be cool, but I didn't know how it works. Um, but yeah, for video for, for gamers, uh, they just um, just play the game, and then the highlights they just make it make into a YouTube video. But with a fitness page, I wouldn't use this type of video uh, or this quality and angles and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't use this for an actual video. This is good for streaming because it's more personal. Like it's like I'm across from you actually talking to you guys. But for YouTube content, it probably won't cut it. Um, so yeah, I actually need angles and all that kind of stuff. I need somebody basically I know some I need somebody that knows what they're doing so I can actually give videos. <clears throat> somebody that's willing to either work out with me and then take videos while I'm doing my sets or somebody that I can hire to specifically take the videos while I'm working out. Although it might be a little less awkward if they're working out too. <laughs> At least you're making up watch time. Yeah, true. Yeah, they say clip it. Oh yeah, you hear them say that all the time. Clip it, clip it. 
if you haven't already, uh, make sure you set your monetization on in the settings. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I did that before. I got a some email from from uh, YouTube a couple months ago. Said something, something I needed to like sign or uh, agree to. <clears throat> Basically, they, they changed their their terms of service to something. <laughs> and this is my procrastination kicking in. But uh, basically it said, you need to go click this link, fill out this thing, accept the terms, blah, blah, blah. But at the bottom it said, don't worry if you don't do it now, when you start posting again, we'll remind you. So I was like, bet, <laughs> I'll be lazy and just start doing the thing and they'll, they'll tell me what I need to do. Which when I think about it, I should probably just go ahead and find out what they're talking about first. That way I don't get screwed over. And then they take my money or something like that. I'm like, oh, well, we forgot to remind you. This is my money now. Uh, 55 pounds. I go up to 60. Fuck it, why not? Oh, oh man. Mm. <clears throat> I wish there was a 24 hour gym. Actually, there is a 24 hour gym around here. It's just uh, 15 minutes further, actually maybe 10 minutes, around 10 minutes further from my home than this is. This gym is, uh, I wanna say 20, between 20 and 25 minutes from my house. Um, so this is a Genesis. Genesis Health Clubs. Um, there's one closer to me, which is 15 minutes away from me. This one, like I said, is 20 to 25. Um, but there's another one on the Missouri side that I used to go to because I used to live in Missouri. That's where I'm from. That's uh, 24 hours still. But like I said, it's about 10 to 15 minutes further from here. And you have to wear a mask the entire time, which not getting political or anything, but when it comes to purely just working out, I'd rather not. My cardio is already so so. <laughs> Plus, I had, well, I can't use that excuse anymore. I had childhood asthma. This would be a just chatting stream on Twitch. Yeah, true. Yeah, they just started YouTube content creators to sign in with some of the documents. If you don't sign it, YouTube will not pay. Don't leave money on the table. Well, you, that's all you have to say. I'll find out what that form was. It might be in my email inbox somewhere. Although I'm a habitual deleter. If I don't need it, I delete it. Need it, delete. It kind of rhymed a little bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I delete stuff all the time. I hate having notifications and the red bubbles on my screen. <clears throat> yeah, 
Damn, I was gonna, I was gonna um, hit the heavy bag for like the last ten minutes. There's somebody on there now, and I don't really want to kick him off. Although he doesn't really know, look like he knows what he's doing. But I ain't gonna talk shit. Yeah, I got about 10 minutes left. We'll see if he gets off. Maybe I can get five minutes on it or something. I got this last. Well, if he gets off, this is my last set. If not, I guess I'm doing two or three more. All right. So we're up to 60 pounds. Probably get this like seven times. I'm guessing I don't wear belts or straps or wraps or gloves or anything. And I did a uh, deadlift yesterday, Romania deadlift. So my hands are a little sore, but no time for complaining. ugly but a rep's a rep yeah that'll be my last that'll be my last uh, set of that my arms my arms have a nice pump though let me turn my brightness up for a second. There you go. Oh, I can see myself. I can still find people watching me. <laughs> yeah. Got a nice little pump going. Uh, surprised I didn't completely lose my abs and everything. Go to the YouTube studio. Sounds like you're a YouTuber too. That's how I started. Was YouTube. I'm actually not a uh, Twitch streamer. I've been thinking about it. I did like a little, a little like a five minute test stream yesterday, just to see the uh, interface and all that stuff. See how it worked. Pretty simple. Same as this. I kind of do wish they had more options because I don't want to bring like a whole setup into the gym with me. Uh, I don't want to have to have a laptop and be making a big scene over here. I'm trying to kind of keep it low key as far as what I'm doing or as far as what everybody sees me doing because um, I'm far from this point, but I don't want to have people like hopping in the stream or trying to talk to me or that kind of stuff. So if I can get a big following outside of Kansas City, that'd be dope. Let me see what time it is. Cryo recovery? Uh, no, uh, not per se, but I do take cold showers. Um, I do... Cold showers and cold exposure stuff. Um, Someone's cutting my head off. Um, you may have heard of Wim Hof, W I M H O F. He's a uh, he has YouTube, but he has a bunch of records and stuff for 
cold exposure stuff. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records, all that stuff. Um, yeah, he talks about the benefits of cold exposure stuff. And uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, she goes over a lot of that stuff. Um, I started that. I started that about mm, four, three, probably three or four years ago. Actually, around the same time I started my business. So yeah, probably about four, four years ago. Um, but yeah, taking cold showers, um, cold exposure stuff, whether it be outside or whatever. It's actually funny because since then, I haven't worn a coat or a long sleeve shirt or long pants. Um, as a matter of fact, with my remodeling business, I'm outside a lot of the time. And even now, today it was actually really nice. It was warm, according to what I think. It was 50 degrees out. So it wasn't really a test of uh, cold, the cold or anything. But um, most days, or lately, like this week and last week, it was around. It was in the 30s. Um, but I still never wear, never wear a coat. Like I said, I haven't worn worn a coat for about four years. Same with pants and uh, long sleeve shirts. Um, and it's not necessarily that cold that I don't feel the cold anymore. It's more that it doesn't affect me mentally. And I feel like majority of uh, what, what, whatever kind of hardship it is or adverse adversity, even if it is physical, it's still mostly mental. So with the cold exposure stuff, I feel like if you if you accept the cold and you're like, OK, this is what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be cold and I accept that I'm not going to fight it. You're going to have a, a lot easier experience with what you're doing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It kind of goes along with a Buddhist tenant I like to follow. Uh, expectation begets disappointment. So if you don't have any expectations, you won't ever be disappointed. But at the same time, I know how that can kind of be uh, misconstrued as be lazy, don't fucking do anything. Um, it's not what it means. You can take it that way, but I mean, not you guys personally, but uh, I got like five minutes. I'm going to hit this bag a little bit. Let me grab that box. So you guys aren't looking at my feet. I'm stuck to him too. Nice. Yeah, Wim Hof. He's the man. Crazy, but <clears throat> good stuff. You know, it's kind of weird. Um, when I watch Twitch and stuff, I'm always like, man, these dudes are really just talking to themselves. How do they do that? <laughs> How do they have nothing to talk about or nothing, nobody directly having a conversation with them, yet they're having a full out conversation? And uh, it's not that hard, actually. I'm going to turn this camera around. This one might be clearer. All right, just so y'all know, I haven't hit a heavy bag for a minute, so don't make fun of me. My only goal right now is to not have you guys out there laughing at me. So, take my shoes off. I'm just warning you now, there's definitely going to be a lot of adjusting my shorts <laughs> during this five minutes because um, I'm going to be kicking this bag. So I apologize in advance. I'm not coming on to you, I promise. All right. <clears throat> and hopefully my headphones don't fly out. By the way, like I said, the camera's turned, or the phone is turned around so I can't actually see what the screen is doing or see what's on the screen Ooh, almost <coughs> hamstring is almost cramping a little bit because I did like I said uh, hammy glutes yesterday
I actually can't see where I'm at in the frame either. How smart I just turn it around. Fuck, I'm tired already. Closing time. Oh. Saved by the lights. Oh, let me get my shoes. My shoes back on. The biggest thing about streaming for me is uh, I'm very accident prone. So who knows? Within the next year or so, you guys might you guys might get to see uh, a nasty injury. My last one was uh, uh, Achilles Achilles tendon rupture. My left Achilles tendon fucking, I don't want to say blew up, but pretty much. I was actually doing Ninja Warrior training at a facility out here. Uh, March 2019. And, uh, yeah, I was going up to the warped wall and some kids were egging me on I usually uh, usually warm up a lot at least 10 to 20 minutes warming up my legs and mostly legs but my whole body and uh, these kids were like just do it just do it I was like alright so I did it Warning. Uh, if you don't like scars, turn away now. I'll tell you when you can look again. It's kind of hard to see you in the dark. But yeah. Okay, you can look again if you turned away. But yeah, it sucked. Mostly it sucked because I couldn't uh, couldn't do anything for a couple months. Good way to end the workout. I think so. Thank you. Let's ditch a train. 
was a train for a shoulder just to keep fit. Um, so, kind of both. It was, shit, hold on. It was to train for if they had one in my area. But, uh, my bad. People out here yelling. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, mostly, mostly for myself. But, If they had a show, or if they had tryouts in my area, then I would have done it. Um, they had tryouts the year before that, so 2018, I think, in Kansas City. Hell, it may have even been 2019, I can't remember. But, yeah, if they had it in my area, I would have done it then. But like I said, Mostly it was just to stay fit. So, yeah, I'm back in my in my old truck now, my work truck. But I can stream for like maybe 15 more minutes while I'm driving home. But then when I get home, I gotta I gotta end it because uh, don't want to wake up my kids. Because I'm talking to myself. Well, talking to you guys, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> it won't be too hard to... I only drive with one hand anyway. So, I'll be good. Although this is a tripod, I could actually just set it up somewhere. But again, I only drive with one hand anyway. So... I think that will be good. Hopefully the stream doesn't drop whenever I leave Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Man, it'd be really nice if I could set this up to where your uh, chat messages would go to voice or uh, voiceover. So I don't have to, I mean, not that there's any problem with reading, but if I'm working out, I, will, I don't want to have to, I don't want to answer messages late because I'm not checking it frequently enough. Uh-oh. Something happened over here. Was it Eric? Or was it... Somebody getting told. Uh-oh, I'm gonna put my camera down. I can't see shit. Oh, somebody got pulled over. Three cop cars. I don't wanna get in trouble, my bad, y'all. <clears throat> but three cop cars pulling over one truck over there. And he got out and he had a bandana and like a Harley jacket. He must be in a gang. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. It is outside of Denny's though, so it's fitting. I mean, not, not knocking Denny's, but you know. So yes, it's dark in here. Let me see if this makes a difference. A little bit, but that might be kind of weird dropping with my light on the whole time. Let me uh, see if I can just. Uh, nope, didn't help. Is there, how about this? Huh. 
maybe one of these filters. <laughs> oh, hell no. It's a little bit better. Oh, no, that's bad. Hey, there we go. This looks terrible, but you can see me at least. Whoops, where they go? I have a light on my cell phone, but uh, oh wait, <laughs> can I turn my thing around and have the light on at the same time? Hold up. Actually, this that wasn't bad. Uh, how do I get out of it? All right, there, and then uh, nope, can't turn my I uh, can't turn my flashlight on at the same time. Oh shit, I don't really want to show everybody where I'm at. <clears throat> this ain't bad though. Shit, I missed those messengers. My bad. Uh, God damn, I'm pressing every button on this damn thing on accident. My physical goals for 2021. Mmm. Like I said before, I want to get down to the uh, the body fat that I was at, although I don't actually know a number. <clears throat> I want to get down to the body fat I was at uh, in when I was in the Marine Corps and for a few years after the Marine Corps, which if I were to guess, it would be around high fours, low fives. I'm not too far off. I'm six point, well, according to my calipers and the uh, the nine side body fat calculator, I'm at 6.86%. But um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not too far off. By the way, I'm, I, I kind of trail off a lot because I have ADD. So. I'm trying to stay focused. There's a lot of lights and stuff out here too, so easy to get distracted. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, first goal is to get back to that high four, low fives. Um, and also simultaneously, I train, so I've been training for, uh, as a power lifter for, uh, since late 2019. So around October is when I met up with my coach, or I guess he found me working out at a gym. And, uh, he was like, what you doing with them legs, boy? I was like, I don't know, I'm working out. <laughs> He's like, nah. Those are deadlifting. Those are heavy deadlift, heavy squat legs. So then he said he can get my squat numbers up 75 pounds, around 75 pounds in nine weeks. And around the same for my deadlift. And I was like, yeah, right. And he was like, all right, how about you do this program? I said, okay. So did it. And my squat, when I first started, I think I got 365 for six, which was probably around 425 as my one rep max. Um, man, I'm going to change this filter again real quick so you can actually see. I'm just going to do this whenever it gets dark, even though it looks kind of weird. Um... But yeah, like I said, uh, around 425 for one. And nine weeks later, which, by the way, I don't think that y'all think I'm doing any, taking anything, but uh, I've been natural my whole life. I say that because I've had people come up to me in the gym and ask me what I'm taking. And I just say, oh, uh, 
protein pre-workout and food. And they're like, okay, what else? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, what kind of, you know, you taking Anadrol, D-Ball, what you taking? I'm like, I don't know what any of that means, but I'm assuming you're talking about steroids or some of the kind of PEDs, and I don't take none of that stuff. Oh, fuck me. Uh, there we go. Um, whoops. Um, so yeah, I don't take anything. I never have. But anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, about, well, nine, nine weeks later, after that um, phase in the program or whatever, I went from, my squat went from, I want to say 425 to, during the end, it sounds stupid and unbelievable, but I was seriously at, I want to say, I have the numbers in my phone in a, in a spreadsheet, but I think uh, my projected one rep max was some crazy like five, uh, 555 or 545, something like that. Um, my deadlift went from right around 495, 500-ish to projected one rep max of six... I want to say 635 or 645. Um, bench went from three, 335 or 345 to 375, um, which my goal for all my numbers were uh, 400 for bench, five for squat, and six for deadlift, which is... <clears throat> two times my body weight, or was at the time, two, two times my body weight for bench, 2.5 for squat, and three for deadlift, which I weigh 197.8 now, or was 196.8? I can't remember. 196.8, I think. Pretty sure. I have it in my phone. Doesn't really matter. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I squatted uh, 195, which is five plates. I a couple weeks before that I did lifted 585, and I don't really do heavy bench a lot. But I got 315 for five, which is probably around like 365 uh, projected one rep max. So that's not bad. Um, so yeah. So go, as far as goals for numbers, I'd like to hit five. So that's a hard thing for me. I, I get uh, sidetracked a lot with my goals because say I will... I'll be focusing on strength and then I'll notice I'm starting to get soft. And I'm like, well, fuck, I now need to burn fat. Then I'll focus on cutting. And then I'm like, oh man, I feel myself getting a little bit weaker. And I'll go back to strength and then, you know, back and forth kind of thing. Or I'll feel like I'm getting smaller, so I want to focus on mass. And so many different things. Um, so I'm kind of all over the place. But my numbers I would like to hit around 525, 535 for uh, squat for an actual, not a projected one rep max, but an actual one rep max, that much weight on my back, which is much different than doing a bunch of reps of, you know, 405 or whatever. Um, <clears throat> deadlift, six, 25 ish, 625, 635. Um, and bench 405. So, yeah, that would be that'd be cool if I could hit those numbers. Will I get there? Hell yeah. I was gonna say, I don't know, but <clears throat> it's not the right mindset. Hey, I'm a human too. 
I doubt myself sometimes, but I'll do it. But um, I'm probably like three minutes from my house. So um, I'll probably, so I'm going to start uh, tomorrow. I'm going to stream again. I'll probably set it for 930 as well. Mm, I don't know. I might actually set it for nine because it's going to be leg day. It's going to be uh, quads and calves. So I did ham and glutes yesterday. Um, upload twice a week, please. And I don't know if I can do that with my my current work schedule. That would be real nice. You know, and I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. I'll get there. That can be that could be another one of my goals for 2021. But with that, I'm gonna definitely have to have uh, somebody taking videos of me because I wanna I wanna stream more than I upload. Just because, honestly, I ain't even gonna lie. Um, I <laughs> uploading videos is more work because editing and all that kind of stuff. And I kind of have a routine where at night, basically, I stay up till like 2 a.m. most days, and I do computer work. So whether that be contracts, uh, writing contracts for work, working on estimates, um doing drawings and by drawings i mean uh like architectural drawings like 3d 3d modeling and uh layouts and that kind of stuff um yes my socials are updated well facebook all i have is facebook um i'm gonna i'm all i will be getting instagram soon um probably not gonna get twitter or tiktok just because I don't know, t- Twitter is not really gonna do much for me, and then TikTok. I'm a, I'm an old man. I'm like, I'm a millennial, and I talk shit on these Gen Z kids for doing all that, even though it's literally the same shit that we used to do when we were. And I say we, I don't even know how old you are, but same shit that my generation used to do when we were kids: act dumb and have the older people. Uh, talk shit on us. <laughs> um, I guess I can let y'all see my neighborhood. There's a couple, couple of houses with the lights up. This is a mound of dirt because they're still doing construction. Y'all can barely see anything because it's it's so dark out here, and we don't have street lights because it's the uh, the what you call it suburb is so new. Um, that's my house, the one with the Christmas lights. Um still up because we're my wife is way too festive um and that's my brother's car and her car is inside and that's the swing i built i don't know if you can see but there's a porch swing out there that i built i can show y'all um some more stuff another time (laughs) um i can show you more in depth uh another day or i'll put it in a youtube video but man, I got so much. Thank you. Um, I got so much stuff that I'm trying to do for 2021. So because I'm a uh, uh oh uh oh, you back? Okay. I think I just connected to my Wi-Fi. I guess I can turn my light on in my truck now. I'm going to stop using this filter. Um, so, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So much stuff I want to do for 2021. So, like I said, because I do home remodeling, or I guess not just home remodeling, but so my business actually started out as a woodworking business. So I would build. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. You too. I started um, with woodworking stuff. So tables, chairs, furniture, that kind of stuff. And then I kept getting people requesting remodels like 
can you update this? Can you help with that? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, I was already actually doing it in my house at the time. Uh, basically, I bought a fixer-upper. Uh, it was on the Missouri side, but it wasn't in bad shape. It was just like a 100-year-old house. So tore a lot of the walls down to studs and rebuilt a lot of stuff. Redid the back the bathroom down to the studs, even the joists, like the floor, the ceiling, everything all torn out. Um, and it's all brand new. Uh, same with the kitchen. Same with the upstairs bathroom. Uh, did a lot of repairs in the basement. Basically, it was a flip. Did that. And then the next house we moved into was not so much the same. That one was in good working order, but uh, there was a lot of aesthetic stuff that could be changed with it. So I um, just did some uh, cosmetic updates with that. Um, and this one here, because my wife got tired of living in a construction zone, she uh, didn't, she, basically she wanted us to have a house that we could live in you know, for 10 plus years, because prior to that, we moved literally, literally every single year. Actually, the last house I was in, I was in for 10, 10 months, uh, did some updates to it, sold it, moved out. Um, but this one is, is a, not a forever home, but it's, uh, it's a good, uh, 10 year home. But the, the basement, one of the things that we were looking for when we were moving was an unfinished basement because I wanted a workshop. So this basement is unfinished, and I drew up blueprints, uh, got the whole, got everything, um, uh, the layout and everything in basically a CAD program, an auto uh, drafting program, uh, putting all the walls and everything in there, going to basically model it in my program and then build it. Uh, in real life, which is going to have a gym in there. So when, sometime in 2021, my videos are probably going to switch from being in the gym, like a, in a gym where, you know, other people are at, to my home gym. But I'll probably, I'll still go to the gym and do that kind of stuff too. But I want to do it here mostly, one, because... Um, this is going to sound really weird, but you can't like not wear uh, or you can't be shirtless in a, in a public gym. Well, a lot of gyms anyway. This ain't California. This is Kansas. So people are really fucking modest out here. So always going to have your shirt on. Always got to, you know, there's guidelines and that kind of stuff. Um, plus, I don't have to worry about the, you know, rules for uh, streaming and all that kind of stuff there, which I actually don't know what those are but I'm cool with a lot of them, so I'm sure they don't really care. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, basically, like I said, my, my basement right now is unfinished. I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to build, in my workshop is going to be kind of three a three-part workshop. It's going to start with uh, cutting. It's going to be cutting station, so I'll have my bandsaw, my table saw, all that kind of stuff in one station. And the next station is going to be assembly for gluing, screwing, all that kind of stuff, sanding. And then the next station is going to be a paint and finish station um, to where that's, well, I literally just said it, paint and finish, staining, uh, poly, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to, basically, there's an egress window. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm doing a pretty big project right now with a uh, on a in a mansion on the Missouri side. Um, so that's another reason why I want to start streaming on Twitch as well because I work by myself because it's uh, my own company and I'm just doing my thing by myself. So no reason to not stream it. Um, but since it's on Twitch, obviously there's gonna be. Zero followers, zero viewers, zero subscribers, all that kind of stuff from the beginning, but you got to start somewhere. Um, and I would put it on this channel, but uh, remodeling what? It's so it's not so well, it is a remodel. It is a bath. It's um, 
like I said, it's a mansion out there, which I don't know where you're at, but a mansion might be. Uh, hey, thanks, man. I read that wrong at first. I thought it said, <laughs> I'm so glad I, I unsubscribed from your channel. I was like, damn, that kind of hurt. <laughs> but hey, yeah, thank you for real. Thank you to every single person that's watching and that did not unsubscribe. Um, at one point, I'm sure y'all had more faith in me than I had in myself. So I appreciate that. But like I said, like the stream of the time or the title of the stream, I'm back. So this ain't going to be, uh, it's not going to be like, a, you know, like I did last time, show up and then post a couple of videos and then dip out again. This is, uh, I'm going to build it up this time. So, but anyway, yeah, um, it's a uh, mansion on the Missouri side. Um, it is, oh, snap, I got a light. I forgot. And I got all these. I got my electrical tools in here. I got my fucking my table saw. This is not looks trashy, but that's actually a Home Depot bag. It's not trash. <laughs> there's my water. There's my um, uh, cold chisel. I saw all that kind of shit. So this is literally just a tool truck. All my tools and all my you know levels, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, this might be way too bright. Holy shit! Can this go dimmer? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Maybe I should put it like way down here or something. You like heart tools? Yeah. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Sorry guys. That's I don't know. I think I gotta point it the other way. Sorry, I know y'all know I'm I'm still new to this, trying to find everything, figure everything out. <laughs> Maybe this won't be so bad. Uh, turn my wheel. <laughs> yeah, this looks like trash, but fuck it. Oh, maybe if I put a piece of a paper towel over it and then point it at myself. Hey, we're figuring this out together, guys. This is this is gonna be a one-time thing, and then after I get this down, <laughs> I know this shit is so bright. This thing is like a thousand lumens. Um, that's not bad. That's decent. Not too bright. Not to do. Lock my doors. It's crazy out here. Not really. Um, I would go inside, but my wife's asleep and my kids are asleep. And like I said, I don't want to be all loud and stuff. Plus, I kind of like the truck. It's nice out here. Um. Actually, if my brother comes out here, y'all can see him. His big, ugly butt. No, I'm just kidding. He's not ugly. Um, but, uh, God damn, what was I talking about? I'm so ADD. Uh, how often will I upload going forward? Uploads, I don't know. Right off the bat, I'm still working on a way to actually get, uh, oh, what should I say? Still working on a way to actually be able to record content. Um, my bad, my thing said 20% battery at the same time that my truck lights went off. Although I don't know if that really even matters. I might not need my truck light. Um, like I said, in the beginning, uh, I don't really know just because I need to find out actually um, I need to find somebody that can do edit the editing for me. Actually, I really don't need somebody to do editing for me. It would be nice because I'm, I, uh, I don't really like sitting in front of a computer for too long. I'm, my, I, I can get really focused if I'm doing physical work, but if I'm sitting in front of a screen and trying to focus on, 
numbers and editing and all this kind of stuff, like it, it kind of takes the fun out of it. Cause I want to be doing the actual, the actual thing, you know what I'm saying? Like for my business, for example, I pay people to do all the paperwork. I, you'll get the hang of everything, bro. Just keep getting that, keep at it. Yeah, that's true. With time, I'll probably, well, not probably, I'll definitely get more proficient and efficient at, at things and, uh, just know how to do everything, uh, more, more quickly and with more ease. Um, but yeah, so it'll probably have to be me in the beginning anyway for editing, just cause I don't know out here anyway. I mean, I know like almost everything is online these days. Uh, so I can find, I can find a video editor that can do it for me online and I'll pay them and that kind of thing. But I also have this weird thing that I do. It's not really a weird thing, but I like to support people that are in my community. Cause I like to keep, uh, I mean, I want to pay somebody that's good, obviously, but if I could pay somebody that's uh, local to help me with my stuff, then that just, you know, keeps the money in my city and helps build up my city to get more, you know, keep it here, basically. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know, paying for people outside the city. Just trying to help the people around me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a business owner and I would rather have somebody hire me as opposed to somebody... You know, if my next door neighbor needs some work, I'd rather have him hire me as opposed to renewal by Anderson down in fucking, I don't know, some 30 minutes away or some shit like that. I don't know. It's a weird thing. Hello, handsome. Thank you. Uh, or thank you. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, thank you at the same time. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't even remember why I said that or where I was going with that. But wait, let me see what was uh you'll hire me for what <laughs> um damn what was i talking about oh yeah uploading um <clears throat> so yeah like i said in the beginning i don't know once i once i start downloading yeah exactly stim simulate the county around you um once i start downloading or uploading i'm gonna try to upload at least at least twice a month and i know that sounds like twice a month baby 504 uploads twice a week or once a week however fucking i don't know but <laughs> um for me that's actually that's actually a lot just because like i said every night i do like two to three hours of computer work when it comes to uh 3d modeling and writing contracts, writing estimates, all that stuff. Um, and at the same time, it's kind of hard for me to focus on computer work. So stuff probably takes me longer than it should just because I'm very like hands-on. So when I have to do that kind of stuff, it's more of a struggle than it should be. Not because I'm slow or anything, just because I hate having to focus on a computer screen. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll probably, <clears throat> I'll probably find, uh, find somebody out here that is good with a camera, good with a video recorder or whatever. Um, and do, and this is something I actually want ideas for as well, because I mean, I'm obviously not fucking, you know, I'm nobody special yet. I'm still, still growing, still trying to find what the people want, what you guys want. And uh, all, all the way down to how I should uh, do the videos, like what what people want to see more as far as they want to see more actual in the gym, like workouts. Do they want to have explanations for the workouts? Do they want to know why I'm doing what workouts? Or do they just want to see me working out? You know, like what exactly... <clears throat> is going to get the most views, what's going to uh, inspire the most people, what, what is going to, what's going to keep people watching, basically. Um, I wish it was as easy as just posting what I want to post, uh, and then everybody's going to flock to it, but there are algorithms, and there are 
certain demands that are certain things that people uh, prefer over other things. So I'm not saying that I'm trying to, you know, sell out to other people because I am going to do what I want to do, but I also would like to guide my content toward what the viewer wants to see, obviously, because there would be no point of putting your stuff online if you were just, uh, I guess you could just do it just to do it, but if you're trying to, if you're trying to go anywhere, you want to curate your, your content toward the viewer. Um, so I'm going to need, you know, over the next couple of weeks or months or however long, getting ideas from, from other people on, uh, what exactly, uh, people want to see and how I can, uh, steer where the direction I can steer my channel basically for people to enjoy my content more. Um, so yeah, that's a long way, a long answer to say that <laughs> I'm avoiding your question. <laughs> um, but now probably, like I said, yeah, probably uh, once I start uploading, probably twice, twice a month to start. Um, and hopefully, so I'm not actually trying to switch over from remodeling to uh, fitness stuff full time. It would be cool if I could get it like 50-50 uh, during the day, maybe not 50-50 time wise. It'll probably honestly be more towards the remodeling stuff. Um time-wise just because if i'm streaming obviously if i work six to eight hours a day and i stream that whole time then hours wise it's going to be more uh people watch or more time on doing that but content wise it would be nice to be 50 50 between uh fitness and uh remodeling stuff and it'll just help hold me accountable for uh, keeping on top. Oh, shit. For some reason, I forgot. I thought I forgot my gym bag at the gym, but it's right next to me. Uh, squirrel moment. Um, which, by the way, if my if this cuts out, um, it's because we have a camera right there and my wife can see me on the camera and she might be calling pretty soon to nag me. Like wives do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, hopefully it doesn't. I put it on do not disturb, so it shouldn't. But um, so yeah, again for the fifth fucking time. I'm not saying that to you, saying that because I repeat myself a lot. Uh, two times a month to start, and then increase until I can find a good balance. So it might actually be, it might stay at two times a month because it might be two times a month uh, or two videos, up two uploads a month for uh, fitness stuff and then two uploads a month for the modeling stuff. Although it might, it might actually be closer to one a month for the remodeling and three plus for the fitness stuff because it's just easier to post there's different there's there's a lot more content that you can post for fitness stuff uh than there is for remodeling stuff like if i'm working on the house like i don't know it's kind of hard to explain um i actually listen to a podcast that's uh content creators for uh woodworkers and um remodelers and that type of thing and one of the problems they face is uh having content <clears throat> or having constant content that they can actually post because with what I do a lot of the times it's like uh, I might be doing drywall pretty repetitively or framing pretty repetitively so I can't really I can stream that stuff over and over again but I can't really post like I can't have like 15 YouTube videos on me framing a wall just because it's going to be, you know, it's just going to be so repetitive over eventually. Um, but like I said, streaming is different because it's streaming is more about the interaction, not 
the no, not necessarily the content that you're getting from the video. It's more about your interaction with the streamer and uh, yeah, what they're providing. But with a video, usually you want to. Sorry. I have no idea why uh, these videos or these uh, comments weren't popping up before. Have you thought about going back to your roots uh, with the at-home body weight exercises? You would definitely give me, give me more uploads. That's very true, actually. That's true. Because I wouldn't need to be in a gym or have a bunch of equipment and all that kind of stuff for at-home workouts. It's a good point. Um, and there's an infinite number of workouts that I could do with at-home stuff. So yeah, I'll put that in my mental notes. Actually, as a matter of fact, I have a, um, like I said, I'm ADHD or ADD, so uh, I'll put that in my physical notes, <laughs> in my actual notes. <clears throat> um, uh, part of the gym you used to work at, or you work out in the military now, I remember you. Yes, I did. You and your friend used to put on skits you you're still married those eyes melt my soul <laughs> thank you um yeah me and my me and my buddy ruben when we were in the um uh, we were in the military we were, we were in the marine corps um we yeah we used to do some i don't know he's he's like he's kind of a spaz <clears throat> so I'm usually pretty chill. So a lot of the times it would be like me trying to up my energy to to match his to so that I wouldn't get taken over by his energy on my own damn fucking channel. Um but yeah, we did we did a couple. Um but he li unfortunately he lives in Wisconsin now. Um what part? Milwaukee. He lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And that's like, uh, how far is that for me? It's around eight hours, I think. I went out to Chicago to do a half marathon with him uh, sometime last year. And that was like, it was like an eight hour drive, I want to say. It wasn't too bad. <clears throat> but um, yeah, plus Milwaukee's right next to Chicago like 45 minutes away, some something, something like that. So essentially he lives eight hours away. So I'd have to get him to maybe if my my channel is big enough I can get him to drive out here and do some more some more funny stuff. Um oh damn I'm dumb. Um somebody said who said that? Um my my socials. Yeah, Nate Dog. He said uh are your socials still are your socials updated? Um. Yeah, so I'm on uh, I'm on Facebook. Like I said, I'm about to get my Instagram, about to or about to create a, a new Instagram pretty soon. Um. <clears throat> so I will say, one of my problems. Uh, that was entertaining. <laughs> If you're looking for content ideas, maybe you should just record yourself working out. Just do it on your regular workout days. Yeah. But that's kind of the hard thing is with... All right, shit. I'm so scatterbrained. Uh, social media. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat a lot, too. I, my childhood asthma, part of it stuck with me. I don't have the physical effects of it, but I have a, uh, a chronic, like, cough it's more of like a tick i guess you could say but i'm all i'm constantly clearing my throat if i feel like the smallest amount of anything in my throat i'm always clearing my throat anyway um i'll try not to do it but yeah social media like i said i'm on facebook um i think if you just type in facebook.com slash miles partridge it should show up. Um, I'm also on there. My my uh, Partridge Custom Works page is also on there. Uh, YouTube, I mean, uh, Facebook.com slash Partridge Custom Works. That's the name, the name of my company, Partridge Custom Works. Um, so you can find that on there too. Um, <clears throat> there I go again. 
But yeah, so if you want to, if you want to um, add me on Facebook, I'll add you guys back. I mean, add you back. That's not how it works on Facebook. I will accept your requests on Facebook. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's all I have for now. Um, I guess I'll be getting Instagram pretty soon. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I really would need for uh, social media stuff. Um, what was the other question? Oh, yeah, record myself doing just my regular workout days. So with um, making videos and that kind of stuff, um, it's kind of a... So I'm not really saying that I'm trying to be like uh, Simeon Panda or Lazar Angelov or whoever else. That's how, like the only names I know. Um, I'm not trying to... I won't say now that I'm trying to be at that level because that's like, that is their entire life. That is just what they do. Like, their fitness guy is 100%. They don't have other stuff that they do. Even their other branding stuff. Uh, <laughs> we would love watching you every, in your everyday life, shopping, walking. We just love watching you. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. There are Twitch streamers that do that, though. <clears throat> There are two streamers that do that just chatting thing like twenty four seven. Just them at like a food food stall, just munching on a hot dog while people just watch them eat. I don't know, but whatever you get to uh, get your views and get that content right. But um, yeah. So like I was saying, with with the workout thing. Um, if I were to record myself doing it, it would be, it'd be a little different because with, um, with a lot of their videos, they have like really good, really good cameras, which I mean, if you have a smartphone in 2020 or 2021, you have a good camera, but they have like good lighting and videography, like angles, all that kind of stuff. Um, so me just setting my phone up on a, a bench somewhere and then doing a workout. Sure, I can probably get some good angles here and there, but <clears throat> it's going to be a lot more dynamic and interactive and pleasing to watch if I actually had somebody taking videos of me. And there are times, uh, it's kind of hit and miss, but there are times in the gym where I can find somebody that I'm like, Yo, you got an iPhone? Take this, take a video of me and airdrop it to me. <clears throat> um, and you know, I might get I, I get a couple videos like that. I post I post uh, on my story on Facebook. Uh, probably uh, lately, it's been every day. Sometimes every other day, if I didn't get anything that interesting. Um, but usually, it's just like a clip. Obviously, their, their stuff is only like twenty six seconds. Um, so I post one you know 26 second video of me doing whatever um another thing i'm about to start on my facebook so i have my main facebook page and then i have um youtube shorts is that a thing i need to look that up is that like an actual uh, uh actual um what do you call it not genre but like is that an actual thing or or is, are you just saying do short videos on youtube because that would it would make sense if you mean just doing short youtube on video or is there actually a section of youtube called youtube shorts that people go to specifically to watch short videos on youtube i don't know i don't really oh really wait yes to which one hey thank you i'm glad you're glad i'm back because I'm glad to be back. Oh, they just started making YouTube shorts. Okay. That could, uh, okay. That opens up a, a world of possibilities for me because I'm good with the shorts. I'm good with the uh, short videos. I'm, I'm not really like a, 
Uh, okay. Hashtag shorts. Okay, got it. Um, what am I make? What am I making an Instagram? Um, probably sometime this month. I'll probably do it sometime this month, um, just so I can get the content going on there. Um, period. What? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, man. Thanks for the the info on that YouTube short thing. Sorry, I'm trying to tie my shoes because I just listened to month because sitting in this seat for a long time. Um, so yeah, yeah, I got a got a bunch of stuff I'm trying to do and. 2021 um, I mean actually 2020 was not a bad year for me it was a pretty good year actually especially for my business because I, I kind of thought that everybody would um, I kind of thought I would have less business because COVID and all that but because people were at home and then getting the stimulus checks and all that kind of stuff because we were at home uh they were having to look at their shitty houses and, you know, staring at that uh, wall that needed to be painted for a long time or looking at that whatever thing that needed their bathroom, that their old outdated bathroom that needed to be fixed for, you know, years. And uh, so a lot of people were calling me up and I was getting a lot of work that way. It was definitely my busiest year so far, um, which is good. But. Yeah. So. Yeah, YouTube Shorts. I'll I'll look that up for sure. Uh, look up more information on that. And the other thing, you do home repair roofing shingles, seven pieces. Seven pieces. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to lie to you. I do. So, two things, two things that I typically don't do with home remodeling. I don't do... Oh, you're saying you have seven missing on your roof. I was like, I don't know. Is that like some, some method for roofing? The seven shingle method? <laughs> um, yeah, that's not good. You should probably get that fixed pretty soon. You don't want that uh, water leaking in through your roof. That would be bad, especially with the heavy snows. Um, but... Um, what was I saying? But yeah, typically the, there's two things that I don't do on a large scale with remodeling. One is roofing and two is HVAC. Just because um, with roofing, so there are certain jobs that kind of require more than one person. Well, that, I guess they don't require more than one, but there's like a... Um, I guess if you go by the law of diminishing gains, like, sure, you'll gain more money if you work by yourself because you're collecting 100% of the money as opposed to having to split it with, uh, you know, pay employees or split it with a partner or whatever. But when it comes to roofing, uh, because of the speed, uh, because of how fast it's going to go with two people, as opposed to you doing it by yourself, even though you would make 100% of the money by doing it by yourself, you're overall, you're going to make more money doing it with two people because it's going to take... Sorry, I'm a battery. I'm at 10% battery, so I got to end this pretty soon. Um, or just go inside and put it on the charger, but I can't talk too much. Actually, I got a charger in here. Let me see if this thing will... This thing is finicky. I don't know if it'll actually work like it's supposed to. Man. Don't know if it's charging, but let me see. It says it is. It says it is. Um, anyway, uh, doing roofing with uh, <laughs> you'll help me and pay me. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. Um, doing roofing with two two people, for example, 
you're going to get, you're probably going to get the job done more than two times faster than doing it by yourself. So if it were a one for one, like if you doing it by yourself would take, I'm just throwing a random number. If doing it by yourself would take two hours and doing it with somebody else would take one hour, then take it or leave it, you know, 12 of one or six of one half dozen of the other. You can either do it by yourself and it'll take two hours, but you get more money or you can do it with somebody else and it'll take one hour and you get half the money. So it's virtually the same thing. But typically with roofing, if you do, if you do it by yourself versus doing it with somebody else, you're going to get it done faster than half the amount of time with two people than doing it with one. So for example, if it takes two hours to do it by yourself, it might take 45 minutes to do it with somebody else just because the flow, the workflow and everything. Um, so with that, with, with, with things like that, I tend to, <clears throat> um, try to avoid doing those things, things that are going to take basically, it's, it's almost going to be ne not necessarily a loss of money, but things that are going to be, um, I'm going to make not as much as I could if I had somebody else, I try to avoid those things. And typically those things for me are HVAC and uh, roofing. But yeah, enough about that. I know this ain't no home remodeling page. This is a fitness page. <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah. Yeah, if you guys have ideas of what you want to see, I know you uh I know you've been uh Nate Dog and um Derek. You guys have given me for some some pretty good ideas already as far as what you think I should do. Um, with the shorts and all that kind of stuff. Next video idea, upper body stretching. That's a good idea. That's a, that'd be a good video. I think I actually do have one on there. I have one of my in, uh, in my YouTube videos upper body stretches but that was from like 2015 but I got more stuff that I can that I can post um, and especially that really <laughs> yeah six years ago damn that's crazy just think think where I would have been if I would have actually just kept kept doing the damn thing stuck to it I think about that sometimes, but at the same time, uh, no reason to dwell on the past. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. <sighs> yeah, time to reboot. I don't care what you post, I'll be watching. Hey, well, thank you. I know I got one viewer at least then. Although I know I got seven in here right now. So hopefully I'll have at least seven views on each YouTube video. And that's enough to keep doing it. But um yeah man time for a time for a reboot do it right this time stay consistent so i'm kind of i'm kind of lucky with my uh resources i guess you could say my oldest brother uh went to school <clears throat> went to college uh chicago art institute or Art Institute of Chicago, Illinois, or whatever the hell it's called. I think it's Illinois Art Institute of Chicago. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, anyway, he went there, and uh, keep having to open this door to turn this light back on. Eventually, it's going to tell me to start my truck so my battery doesn't die. Um, but it's a huge battery, so I'm not worried about it. Anyway, he went to that. He went to that college. And um, he didn't do graphic design because every time I tell somebody that he does graphic design, he's like, I don't do graphic design. I do this. But anyway, basically, he does graphic design. 
Um, <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but he draw he does drawings and uh, digital and paper uh, drawings. So usually he'll draw it on paper first and then scan it, turn it digital. I don't really know what the technical term for it is, but he does digital art and he's really good at it. <clears throat> he actually did my back when I had uh, when I was doing my videos before my actual per, my actual personal training uh, business here in Kansas City was called Integrated Vitality. And I'm pretty sure I have some. Yeah, I think I have some cards in here. I kept some cards here just for the nostalgia. But he made these. Let's see if I can show them. Get this light not directly on it. There you go. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, whatever. Integrated. Oh shit! That shows my fucking phone number. All right. God damn it. Um. But anyway, <laughs> he made these cards. Um, there's that side, and there's that side. So, so basically, it was a <clears throat> yeah. So I took the, I took the uh, whatever the the background from that he made for these cards and made it the thumbnail for, for this stream. Um, but he did all that stuff. The, the silhouette is actually me. It was a picture that I took fucking, I mean, obviously I had short hair back then, but it was a silhouette uh, or a picture that I took um, on a timer back in like 2015. And I just, I put it on the ground and walked forward and stood there and took the picture. And I was like, Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So used it for that. And then, pretty sure that's my like banner thing for youtube as well i don't really know some um but yeah he did all that stuff and then he did like a whole brochure <clears throat> uh he did a whole brochure thing because uh, basically why it's called animated integrated vitality is i was a personal trainer and a massage therapist so when i was in the marine corps i did the schooling for personal training and then when I got out of the Marine Corps uh, I went to school for massage therapy so at one point I was doing both of them at the same time and that's why it was called integrated vitality because that integrating the two for your vitality um, but yeah so yeah I have him <laughs> yeah I was massage therapist for for a while uh, but yeah, I, uh, got him for that so he can do all my digital stuff. No, I'm not in operation anymore. I don't do, I don't do massage anymore. It was fun, but more money in home modeling. Plus it's more, man, it's so hard. It, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't want to say that, uh, I rely on other people for my fulfillment or my sense or my, my sense of fulfillment. That's true. It depends on how much you charge. Um, uh, but my initial idea when I was getting into personal training and massage therapy was right out of the Marine Corps. So I was like, so used to when I was in, I would, I mean, I don't want to make it sound bad or anything, but I could yell at my Marines. I could discipline my Marines, do whatever I want. And since it's the military, they, you know, you kind of just, that's just the, 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 the culture. That's what happened to me. That's what is going to keep happening. It's going to keep happening down the line. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a lot more hardcore when it was in the, in the Marine Corps. Um, but when I became a civilian, you can't really do that. And not everybody has the same motivation as the, as people in the Marine Corps. So, um, yeah, in the Marine Corps, it's all about like 
fitness is one of their main priorities. Physical fitness uh, or physical readiness and combat readiness are the two, you know, top priorities in the Marine Corps. But as a civilian, obviously, there are other things, a million other things that matter. So it's just, uh, it was hard to, I was expecting it to be like super hardcore, like, oh, I'm going to train athletes and fucking warriors and everybody's going to be hardcore. And then I would get, you know, somebody who just wants to lose 10 pounds and they're just kind of lazy and they just don't want to do much. And then I'm like, all right, we'll do this. And they're like, okay. And then the next week I'm like, did you do this? And they're like, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, fuck. Like, I want to I want to chew the ass, but you really can't, you know, because people are sensitive. And if you want to keep clients as a civilian, you you have to be a certain way. You have to have some some tact. Uh, so it was it was different than I expected. So I kind of they just want to watch you while training. <laughs> I don't know if that's like how it is for everybody. Some people want to get in better shape. Um, hopefully, anyway. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was cool, but mm, I don't know. Could it, yeah, more fulfilling things to do in other areas. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing the home remodeling now, but also. When I went full into that, I was like, damn, man, like, I'm really good at this fitness thing. Like, whether it be helping other people or just doing it myself, like, I feel like I'm really good at it. So completely eliminating that would be a disservice to myself, just like completely eliminating the remodeling thing would be a disservice to myself. Um, so, and by the way, if you want to check out some of my remodeling work you can go to my website and uh i'm not even trying to like push my work or anything i'm just saying if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff that i've done you can go to my website and it is uh i think i got some cards in here i mean i know what my website is but oh yeah so this is my new card uh and it has my another one that my brother made I don't really know if this is flip for you guys, but actually, let me try this. I think it might be better this way. Yeah, that works better. Look how fucking dry my hands are. <laughs> Partridge Custom Works. That's the the name, and my, my brother designed that. And I'm going to cover the phone number, but that's the back of the card www.pcustomworks.com and that's the um, my Facebook or facebook.com slash Partridge Custom Works so yeah so yeah if you want to check out some of the work that I've done you can go to that website and see some stuff put this card back in here um but I guess I'm in my eyeball. So yeah, it's uh it's fun. I like doing it. And it's very it's very fulfilling. And I'm I'm good at it. And that's what matters the most, I guess. So if I like doing it and if I'm good at it. And both of those are true. I think there's a raccoon in the house across from me. I don't know, that's a cat. Never mind. Um, two cats. <clears throat> but how did you get into that? Um, so actually, um, growing up, pretty much everybody on my mom's side. Uh, uncles, cousins, well, yeah, mostly uncles and cousins, uh, they either worked for or, or owned construction or remodeling companies. 
and even my mom did some stuff too with them granted but she did some stuff too um so just uh learning i would go to the job site sometimes and like look at a house that's torn down to the studs and not knowing what the hell i'm looking at or how it's going to even become a house or like so confusing that's good work yeah it's fun but uh yeah i'd go there and see the work see the stuff they're working on and uh eventually i started learning some things and they would teach me and you know let me swing a hammer let me use a drill screw in some screws that kind of stuff and um i never got too in depth with it when i was when i was a kid um just because i mean i was a kid they don't want to be held responsible for me smashing my my freaking fingers or drilling a hole in my hand um so it was mostly light stuff or just labor stuff that they had me do, but I got to watch and learn um, and see all the little, see all the shenanigans that they played. I say shenanigans, shenanigans that they played on each other. Um, but then in high school, <clears throat> sorry, I may have missed it. Why did you step away from creating your uh, finished content? Just curious. Um, I guess I can answer that real quick and go back to my story. Um, basically, I got into home remodeling, um, fitness, the fitness stuff was kind of, uh, it was different than I expected. I was expecting it to be super hardcore, everybody to be extremely motivated at all times. And because I came from, uh, the Marine Corps and that's kind of how it was there. Uh, and I could yell at people, I could run people into the dirt. I could, you know, call them this, that, and the other, and they basically couldn't do anything about it. Uh, just because when they became of when they got to that rank, they got to do it to the people below them, and that's just like the culture of the military. Um, so partially because um, it was different than I expected, um, and I was, uh, I, I guess, in a sense, not really. Uh, fulfilled by the training anymore and not that the content directly correlates to the training but kind of in my mind because i stopped training i stopped doing the content as well because i was like well i'm not a trainer anymore i can't make content you know i don't know why it's just it's one of those weird things kind of a fake connection that i made in my head even though there are hundreds if not thousands of uh, fitness models and uh, fitness content creators that aren't actually personal trainers never have been and never will be personal trainers um, but for some reason in my head I kind of felt like a fraud if I wasn't an actual personal trainer professionally but I was still making content about training and that kind of thing so yeah that's basically why and now I realized well that's dumb like I can still be, I can do both. I can do home remodeling and make my uh, fitness videos and that kind of stuff. Like keep creating content for fitness and everything, which is what I'm going to do. So I hope that answers your question. But um, yeah, back to what I was saying before, if I can remember. Are you remodeling and flipping? I'm about to start flipping as a real estate investor. Um, so I, I used to flip and I'm about to start flipping again. Um, that's really good, by the way, uh, real estate investing, just make sure, um, one thing I would recommend is get a good, uh, contractor or somebody that you can get close to that actually knows what, uh, what like can walk into a house with you and basically help you to realize or help you to understand whether a house is going to be uh, profitable or not. Because a lot of the times, I feel like a lot of, uh, one of the reasons a lot of real estate investors <clears throat> don't make it is they get into it, they, go, they get all gung-ho. Oh, you've been in real estate for 20 years. So yeah, you fucking know. Yeah, get a good, get a good contractor that's going to um, help you, help you know exactly what, you're looking for to know like for example um 
I know some people that have gotten into it thinking like, oh, this is going to be, I know what I'm doing. I know what and how to sell a house, how to buy a house, that kind of thing. It's going to be easy. And then they'll get their first property and then they'll think it'll cost this much. And then they get a contractor and they're like, uh, yeah, that stuff needs to be done. But also this foundation is shit. And this H- HVAC system is outdated and your water heater is old and this needs to be fixed. And, th- and eventually, you know, they find out that they're in over their head and either they have to sell as is or, you know, take a loss on it and not make as much or not make anything actually and, and lose money. But um, yeah, finding finding a good contractor that's going to be honest with you and actually knows what they're looking at is going to get and and is going to give you honest numbers as far as how much um, they think a full remodel or a full flip would be so that you can still make money from it. Because sure, if you have contractors doing the work for you, of course, they're going to make money. They want to be able to make money. But for you as the investor, the bottom line is how much money are you going to make from it? So if <laughs> if the contractor uh, is going to make 30000 from you paying them for work, but then you're only going to make 10000 off the house, it's not really a good deal. You know what I mean? Not, not because the contractor um, is charging too much or anything like that, but just the potential for how much you can get from the house you need to make sure that it's high enough to where you can pay the contractor for his work, but also have uh, more money. Basically, you're putting in less money than the profit will be. You're, you're paying the contractor less money than you're actually getting from on the profit end of it. So, yeah, finding a good contractor to help um, do all the on, on the front end of it. And then also a good contractor that's not going to fuck you over as far as, uh, you know, telling you these are the numbers that I think it's going to be. And then actually getting started on the work and then, oh, for some reason, this popped up and this popped up and that popped up. Now you owe me this much more money if you want to finish it kind of thing. Um, But yeah, real estate investing. I don't honestly, I don't really know about right now. I would probably hold off for a couple months after uh, Biden's in office and see what's actually going to happen as far as policies and all that kind of stuff and how it's going to affect uh, real estate and the economy and all that kind of stuff. Um, The guy I'm working for right now, I say working for the house, the mansion I'm working on, the owner of that mansion, he is a real estate uh, investor. He flips a lot of properties. And he's actually in Florida right now. And he's always going on rants on his Facebook about, uh, oh, Trump help with this, Trump help with that. Biden's going to fuck this up, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not even trying to get political or anything. But I'm just saying I would give it a little bit to see um, to see how the economy, especially with real estate, is going to be with Biden being in office is all I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I definitely skipped over. Uh, oh yeah, how I got into uh, remodeling. Yeah, so with the family on my on my mom's side, doing all that kind of stuff. Um, then in high school, I took a bunch of. I took every single, uh, like home ec woodworking, uh, drafting, college mechanical drafting. Um, uh, what was the other ones? Architecture. Pretty much every every single class that I could that I had to do with any type of uh, engineering or architecture or home, like, you know, handiwork type stuff. I took all those classes. Um, then... Uh, in the Marine Corps, I was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> then in the Marine Corps, I was a combat engineer. So I did 
I actually went out to uh, when I was so I was first stationed in Japan when I was in the Marine Corps, and they sent me to a bunch of different countries um, for humanitarian relief stuff. So I went to Thailand, Philippines, Hong Kong, Guam, Singapore, Indonesia, and Australia. Some of those places we actually went to just for <laughs> like just to go. But uh, most of the places we did, we do like yearly or biannual uh, operations out there. So like uh, Thailand and Philippines, for example, um, we have operations or had operations. Uh, they probably still do. But we had operations that we did out there twice a year. And basically they're, they're like buildings and houses and that kind of stuff. They would get ravaged by... Um, tsunamis and or not tsunamis uh typhoons and that kind of stuff so frequently that we would have to go out there we wouldn't have to but we would go out there and we would um basically help them rebuild so we'd do a lot of demolition stuff clearing you know all the wreckage and then help by rebuilding some stuff that's actually going to stand uh so we did in in the philippines we did a lot of uh school schools and classrooms and that kind of stuff um i think i went out to thailand and the philippines twice um all the other places once i'm pretty sure yeah guam hong kong indonesia australia yeah all those other places were one time but uh thailand and the philippines was twice but yeah so pretty much since i was a kid all the way through the Marine Corps, I was doing uh, some type of construction or handiwork or something like that. Um, and then even even in high school, uh, just doing yard work and uh, work around the house. I have four brothers, three blood, one adopted, one adopted sister, uh, three stepsisters. Um so big family, but I grew up mostly with since child since basically birth. Uh, I grew up with three brothers and one sister, and yeah, all growing up, it was like for some reason I was the only one that liked doing physical work, like yard work and uh, whatever whatever kind of physical work. I was always the one to volunteer. I was always one to do it. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. And nobody else in my family likes doing any type of handiwork or physical labor or anything like that. It was always me. So my dad wouldn't even like ask. Well, he wouldn't he wouldn't have to ask is what I'm trying to say. He would just say, Oh, this needs to be done. And I would much rather do because we had chores, I would much rather do like outside, like cutting the grass or uh weed eating or trimming the hedges or, you know, doing whatever as opposed to you know, vacuuming and mopping the floors and that type of stuff. So I was always doing that stuff. So basically since childhood, I was doing all this. That's why that's why and how I got into it. Long winded way to answer your question. Make sure my battery's still good. Oh, nice. 11%. It went up 1%. <clears throat> But so yeah, I showed you guys uh, on the fitness side. I can see some great no nonsense content with some of your marine training mixed with the CT Fletcher type personality to play that play off of. Fletcher here it looks good, boss. Thank you. I'm trying to grow it out. It would be cool to watch you hand so like serious but average people with a compelling story and let us watch you transform them in a video series. Just a thought. It's actually a really good idea. <clears throat> I would probably have to do like a um well I guess well in the beginning anyway, it'd have to be like a you know, post something on my YouTube page and say basically I'm uh doing like a drawing for a free, uh, you know, eight week long boot camp type deal, and uh, it's to 
you know, whoever wins the, the drawing is going to get eight, eight weeks with me, like one-on-one boot camp style training. And uh, yeah, just document the whole thing. It's actually a really good idea. That way it'll get, um, I get to bring out some of the Marine in me and uh, I get to experience the thing that I was initially expecting anyway when it came to training as far as, you know, the the hardcore style of training. And it would be good content too. I'm not going to lie. I really don't watch a lot of um, YouTube, um, YouTubers, I should say. <clears throat> I don't really watch a lot of fitness YouTubers anyway. I watch, I watch some other people. Um, honestly, when I'm, when I am consuming content, <clears throat> content, it's like, uh, probably HBO max or, you know, Netflix, something like that. Um, which I should probably, <laughs> in order to learn the, uh, the, the industry, I should probably start watching people on YouTube more fitness, uh, you know, content creators, that kind of stuff. I should probably do that. But yeah, no, that's a really good idea. So now I got a couple, couple good ideas. Then I get Oblaze. Yeah, I got pretty much one from everybody. YouTube Shorts. Uh, what was the other one? Well, you already told me that that idea, which is a really good idea. Somebody else said, uh, I think Nate Dog was the one that told me about the, the shorts. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> oh yeah, body weight exercises. Going back to that, we're not just going back to it, but doing that. Um, in addition to everything else, damn, I don't know why I'm going back and looking at these messages, and there were some that I missed. Genetic, genetic plays a big part in games. That's very true. How was the workout? The workout was really good. It was it was good for streaming the first time or for the first time. Damn, I feel like there was something else that somebody said. Um, I'll find it. Yeah, Nate Dog gave a lot of good information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll find it. Hopefully, if I can see these. Oh, yeah, upper body stretching. Your video should be just to, or should just to be a chat with us like tonight. If I could do it like that, I mean, if I could do a video, an actual video like that, or not a video, if my videos could just be me talking, then that'd be cool because I'm <laughs> not bad at talking. <laughs> um, but as far as content, um, I think people want something more than just me talking. I mean, granted, it wasn't just talking all the time. I actually worked out and everything. But for the sake of the channel as well, I kind of do want a, uh, even for the streams, I don't necessarily need a videographer for the streams, but it would be nice uh, just for the actual lifts. So what what it would be nice is if I could, have somebody that um, I could actually work out with on a very consistent basis and was not like, first of all, wasn't done with a camera, like knows how to frame and knows how to take videos and everything. Um, but also maybe somebody that wants to, uh, you know, potentially get, start growing their own page or something like that. That way they're a little more serious about it. Um, or I'll just pay somebody to do it. But, um, yeah, I feel like it would have been a little more interactive if during my sets, um, I could 
have more of a dynamic view of me doing the actual workout as opposed to just putting it on the floor, doing the lift, grabbing the thing, talking, and that kind of thing. If I could have like somebody getting good angles and finding the good lighting and all that kind of stuff while I'm doing each lift, um, I feel like that'd be really good. So, and again, just just in case you guys uh, didn't hear, most likely tomorrow, um, I'm central time, by the way, but it's going to be either 9 or 9.30. I'm going to be doing uh, quads and calves tomorrow. So 9 or 9.30 central time. So I'll put, I'll probably put up a, depending on, so it's kind of, <clears throat> it's kind of iffy. Um, I don't know what you guys' schedules are like, but it's either going to be the, the two most common times that I work out are right after I get done working, which is like 5.30 most days, sometimes 6, um, or uh, 9 to 9.30. It mostly depends on if I can get off work soon enough. I'm saying it's like I'm, you know, work for somebody. But if I, if I plan my day right and get up early enough to where I could stop working early enough uh, to go straight to the gym, then I'll do that and so I can be home in time to help with the kids and put them to bed and all that kind of stuff. Or I'll work out uh, after I put them down for bed, which I, they go to bed at eight. So I will um, put them down at eight, work out around nine, nine thirty ish. Um, so hip flexor stretches. It's actually a good idea. I don't really have tight hip flexors, but I know a lot of people do, especially people that work on oh shit, sorry, somebody else uh, sent the message. Um but yeah, a lot of people that work at uh desks, they have really tight hip flexors. Uh what did you like most and least about uploading content? And side note, videos just talking to supporters are great once the channel is developed, maybe a year or two from now. That's so you mean like videos? Where I'm, I'm trying to think. So I see what you mean. Obviously, if if most of my content right now was just me posting videos like this, for example, if if I tried to post this as an actual video um, of me talking to people that are in the chat, it probably wouldn't get a lot of views because most of this, you guys are the people watching right now you guys have already been following me for a long time. You know, like somebody new is not going to follow me because they saw me talking to somebody that is already interested in my content. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, I agree. That would be, if, if I'm going to make this as videos, that would be something down the road. Like, cause that's more of a personality thing, not a content thing because um, for example, there could be two, you know, athletes, two elite level athletes, uh, maybe both, both in the NBA or something like that. And if one, <laughs> oh, wow, your life has been a while. Happy New Year. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Thank you. Happy New Year. Um, but yeah, lifestyle videos, like for example, if somebody were to watch I'm trying to think of a name of a of a like a small time NBA player, which I can't because I'm not really a big sports guy. But um, if LeBron James was doing like a live stream where he was talking to people, a lot of people would tune in and watch because he's people know him as a basketball player, but they also know him as a personality. Um, on the other hand, if you know basketball player number five over here made uh, a stream probably not a lot of people would watch it you wouldn't watch them <laughs> why not you don't like LeBron <laughs> I probably wouldn't watch it either just because I don't I don't know I'm not really that interested in basketball but um but yeah it, you're right it's mostly about the personality as opposed to the content necessarily when it, when it comes to posting videos about that kind of thing so yeah I do agree um, 
forgot that somebody else was um oh yeah hit flexor stretches um man I wish I had oh wait I do I have this uh, wait maybe I don't I need to get a second phone so I can stream on that phone and then uh let me check my notifications real quick Okay, nobody likes me still. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to I need to write all this stuff down. I'll remember most of it. Hip flexor stretches tomorrow during quads and calves. Um, which if I'm gonna do that, I'll probably I'll probably go to the gym in the evening. Actually, uh, actually, yeah, I guess that's what I was trying to say. I'll probably go in the evening like I did today. Um, or later in the evening, like nine ish. I'll try to get there at nine. That way, I have two hours to work out instead of an hour and a half. Um, that way, this gym gets. <clears throat> Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, that way, if if I um, if I go around five, especially with it being the new year. In the first full week of the new year, um, yesterday when I went around 5, 5.30, it was like, it was stupid. It was so packed. But nobody wanted to do legs, so I got to do legs. Um, but still, I wouldn't be able to do any videos or anything like that with that many people there. So, yeah, I'll probably do, count on count on 9 o'clock, between 9 and 9.30. I'll put the, probably like an hour ahead of time, I'll put what time I'll be streaming. Um, so everybody can, you know, tune in and get ready. Get the popcorn in their sodas. I'm just kidding. We, play, we say pop out here. We don't say soda. Some people do, but I say pop. Most of us say pop. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So hip flexor stretches. It's going to be quads and calves day. Um, take a note of upper body stretches for future videos. Um, YouTube shorts. Every time I go over this, I feel like I forget something. Like I add something, but I also forget something else. The monetization thing. Oh yeah, at home workouts. I got you. going back to the making more at home workouts because that'll be easy too. My my basement is unfinished right now, but. And I can also post. So that's another thing. One of my things for 2021. Um, I am going to start. Uh, when I start remodeling my basement or finishing. Yeah, great for shorts. For sure. Um, when I start uh, finishing my basement, like I said, I already told you like how the stations are going to be for the. Uh, actually finishing it you know the setup for my workshop but i'm also going to have a man cave down there and i'm going to have a gym um and i'm going to be building it all from you know framing plumbing electrical drywall everything um so yeah and i plan to i don't know quick 60 second workout demonstrations it's actually a really good idea and that would be, so if it was going to be something like that for the question from before, what, what do I, what's going to be my frequency? I don't remember if you asked that Nate dog or, or somebody else did, but my frequency, no, I don't think that was you actually my frequency for uploading. Uh, if I do shorts, I can definitely do two a week. Um, just cause it'll be pretty easy. I'll just have to basically find uh oh yeah that brings it back to uh, something i was talking about before why it's kind of easier setup for me that one brother does graphic design and that kind of stuff and another brother does um uh music so he's shorts of blowing up youtubers <clears throat> yeah i gotta i don't know i feel like i could do uh I could think of a, a pretty good amount of content for shorts, especially if I 
do this kind of thing where I talk to you guys and you guys can give me ideas. Um, but yeah, another one of my uh, brothers makes music. And actually, if you find me on uh, Facebook, my last video that I posted, it was just me doing uh, Romanian deadlifts. But um, I had some music playing in the background. And that was one of the beats that he made for me, which is a, probably the same beat that I'm going to do for um, my YouTube intro slash background music. It's kind of a slow trap style uh electronic like hip hop mix kind of vibe but uh yeah it's really cool but yeah so check that out if you if you get the chance to um but yeah yeah it'll be it'll be fun at the Hollywood Fitness content who is the largest demographic the typical supporters profile what demo do you target today Everyone. Oh shit, am I in an interview right now? <laughs> uh my largest demographic, like my target demographic or demographic uh as far as people who actually viewed me. Because people who actually viewed me, I have no idea. My target demographic was uh I'd say eighteen to t- eighteen to thirty year olds that I'm trying to get jacked. That was that was my my target demographic. Um, typical supporters profile. What demo is your target today? If you have one. Oh, so I guess that answers that question. You were actually talking about what was the demographic that watched my stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know the answer to that first question. Um, I, have, I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie. Um, my target today. I've opened my mind a little bit. <laughs> Pretty much anybody who will watch me. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, kind of, yeah. Uh, whoever is anybody, age doesn't matter. Gender, sex, fucking color, creed, sexual orientation. I don't give a shit about any of that. Um, if you watch my shit and you get inspired, that's that's my my demographic. You're my people. You like me, I like you. Um, but yeah, that's who I'm trying to, so I'm trying to reach typical supporters profile. I don't, same answer. Um, man, what was that question that you asked before? Oh yeah, I didn't even answer your last one. What did you like most and least about uploading content? Some side note videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I like most and least about uploading, what I like most was hmm. so I'm assuming that you mean not the act of clicking the upload button <laughs> but more like creating the content of and uh, making the videos and all that kind of stuff what I liked most about it was I don't even know if it would be pre or post post pre before I posted or after I post but I liked I mean I liked doing the thing that like I like um you know doing the workouts and creating watch you know making the videos all that kind of stuff um but at the same time I also liked seeing the comments and the support and the people that that liked it um I don't know I kind of liked all of it and what I liked least about it, I guess, was the <clears throat> yeah, probably <laughs> probably like Nate Dogg said, probably the fucking editing. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, it wasn't um, editing wasn't like bad. Oh, you saw my comments? Wow, <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> I saw a lot of a lot of stuff on there, and uh, <laughs> if I was a shy person, it would make me blush. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, what I like least about it probably it'd probably be 
uh, editing because it's like um, it's just part of the process that is like in the middle that is like a uh, some something that's required for you to do in order to get the content out. It's it's like I want to make the content, I want to do the thing, and then I want to just click a button and then people could see the vision that's in my head for what I want to be out there. I just want to click a button and then boom, it's out there. But it's like, no, nah, I got to put these clips in here. Oh, this one was a little too long. After the clip, I kind of, you know, turn away and scratch my balls and then I don't want them to see that. So I got to clip that and, you know, put this in here and speed this up, slow this down. Do this Like, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Like I wish it could just be, you know, ready whenever, as soon as I, record the video press upload and then the the music will be in the background all that kind of stuff but um yeah you gotta put in your put in your intro which now by the way i'm looking at (laughs) i gotta edit that (laughs) um looking at my stuff from before it wasn't bad uh some of my first videos actually um my so if you'll notice, probably like my first three or four videos, I had a very low, like very low energy, very low volume kind of thing talking like this. And then after that, my energy kind of went up. And it's simply because in those first couple of videos, like that's just, that's actually how it was at the time. Just very like monotone and matter of fact. And like, you know, either you're going to like me or you're not like, I don't give a shit kind of thing. I mean, I'm still kind of like that, but uh, I didn't really understand that people wanted to be excited to watch a video. <laughs> so I showed a couple of my buddies uh, in the Marine Corps and they watched it and they were like, I was like, be honest. Like, what do you think? And they were like, man, the information's good, but that was kind of boring. And uh, I like the one where you went up and woke up your buddy or went and woke up your buddy. Yeah. That was Ruben. He's a funny dude. That shit. Yeah, I wish he was still. I wish we lived closer so we could do more, more funny stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, the first ones uh, went to, brought them to a buddy or a couple of buddies, and pretty much unanimous across the board, they were like, um, "Yeah, the information's good, but you gotta, you gotta increase that energy so more people will actually listen to what you're saying." Because you could be you could be speaking absolute facts, but if you're fucking boring when you do it, nobody's gonna be interested. So I was like, all right. So I upped it up the energy a little bit, tried to do something a little more interesting. And maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. But I got a I got a decent little a couple well thank you. I wasn't boring. <laughs> thank you. Um but yeah, I got a I got a good good number of views on a couple of those videos. Um, but yeah, for sure, Nate Dog, thanks for telling me about the uh, YouTube Shorts thing because I actually had no idea, and that for me anyway that changes the game because I would much rather I would much rather do short videos. Um, then actually, I don't know if I can say I'm, I would run, much rather do short videos. I would much rather, if I'm going to post frequently, I would much rather do like a rapid succession of shorts and then have like a 10 minute long video where maybe I do a full workout or do some, you know, like the videos upper body stretching or like this is my full glutes day routine or this is my full quads routine or whatever kind of thing so just a good way to uh keep the content flowing but yeah yeah and how long does this flashlight work or not flashlight but light oh damn battery is still full it's fucking bright as hell <clears throat> This is what I actually use for electrical work. If I'm in a house, most definitely easy way to get new subscribers. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
Um, but yeah, that light is actually what I use for my electrical work. If I'm doing some electrical stuff in a house that uh, either I have to cut the power to work on something or just doesn't have very good lighting anyway, I'll stick this on my my belt loop and then I have my my headlamp right here which you can't see it but oh yes you can got my headlamp too that I used to actually look at the things and then pretty much everything I use <clears throat> has lights on it so fancy fancy but all right, guys, it's been, did I enjoy my New Year's? I did. It was, it was cool. It was relaxing and fun at the same time. Uh, Christmas was fun too. I got a box of rocks, literally a box of rocks with a uh, Home Depot gift card in it. <laughs> Because I always tell people, I hate when people buy me stuff uh, because I'm kind of picky when it comes to like uh, what, I, what I like, like tools and stuff. Pretty much all I like getting for Christmas. If, if somebody's going to give me something, I usually just say, give me a Home Depot gift card because I'm kind of a snob when it comes to what type of tools I want. So if you give me, a, if you give me tools and you give me like some black and decker or craftsman or something i'm gonna be like i have to put on a fake face like oh thank you like this is the cheapest brand of tools there is like ah, thanks <laughs> so i'm just like give me a home depot gift card and all y'all you know when everybody does i can just put that money together and actually give you some really nice tools but uh yeah so i always ask for home depot gift cards and my wife this year got got bored of it got tired of it and um she uh got me a box she put them in a in a big box where do we send oh, you don't gotta send me nothing man i appreciate it though <laughs> um she put uh, uh she had a big box and i had i have some uh uh so i, I build retaining walls and patios and all that kind of stuff so i have some extra blocks left over in my in my garage and uh <laughs> i didn't even know she took one of the blocks like a probably 20 pound block put it in the big box and like stuffed it so it didn't rattle or anything put it under the tree and i went to pick it up i was like damn this is kind of heavy what'd you give me she was like i know what kind of tools you like don't worry it's not the, some cheap stuff blah, blah blah i was like oh my god you're gonna give me some something wrong Oh, my lights just turned off because they automatically, that must mean it's one o'clock. Um, but, um, so yeah, I was like, I think she got me some tool and I went to open it up the box and during Christmas and uh, it was some, my big uh, landscape pavers with a Home Depot gift card in it. I was like, all right, you got me. But it was funny. But I ended up getting like, I think around seven hundred dollars worth of Home Depot gift cards, and I got one tool. <laughs> my, my tools that I like are fucking they're, they're pretty expensive. I spend a lot of money on tools, but yeah, oh nice, yeah, it was it was creative and funny. Oh sorry, De La Ghetto Blaze, he asked me something. What are your stats now versus that? Uh, or versus what you were in your earlier content. What do you mean by stats? Like, um, <clears throat> my stats as far as, like, personally, like my numbers, like, like what weights am I lifting? Or do you mean uh, viewership stats and that kind of stuff? Because viewers, I mean, I haven't posted a video in, long ass time and this is my first live stream forever so I don't really have any stats in that uh, in that regard um, so yeah what one tool oh gotcha gotcha 
uh, what one tool, what kind. Yeah, so it's a basically right now I'm trying to switch over to all battery powered stuff as opposed to electric. So like cordless versus corded. I'm trying to switch over to all cordless stuff. Um, so my old miter saw, well, I say old, it's like three years old. Um, my old miter saw was a, you know, 12 inch. I don't even know if you're going to know what the fuck I'm talking about, but it's a 12 inch compound miter saw. Um, and it was like, I want to say 300, 350, something like that. But the one I got was a, uh, also a 12 inch compound miter saw. Um, but it's battery powered. So it has two batteries that go on the back of it. Um, so I can take it anywhere without having to plug into an ex- uh, extension cord into somebody's power or anything like that. Cause that's something I run into a long time. I have a hundred foot long extension cord behind this seat over here that I'll run, uh, you know, all the way to somebody's house. And, you know, sometimes around the back and have to plug in and do all this shit and then unplug it and wind the cord. So plus it takes a lot of uh, space, uh, unnecessary space in the truck. So yeah, I got a battery powered one. It was $800 for, uh, basically a miter saw that's battery powered, but it's going to save me a lot of time and it's going to make things go a lot faster. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, weight BMI, et cetera, PR weight, uh, I weighed 196. So it was 196.8 or 197.8 this morning. I said it earlier, but I think it was 196.8. Um, BMI, I have no idea. I don't really go by BMI because according to that, I'm obese, <clears throat> I'm obese according to BMI because of my weight versus height ratio. Um, then PRs let's see I just squatted about three weeks ago I squatted 495 I think the highest Um, so my projected one rep maxes are higher than my actual one rep maxes uh, just because I think I have more muscular endurance as opposed to one rep strength Uh, but it's getting there so my squat one rep max is 495, which I did about three weeks ago, which is five plates. Um, my deadlift one rep max is, I think, uh, I know I've gotten 585 before. Uh, I can't remember. I've attempted 605. I can't remember if I got it or not. So let's just call it 585. Um, my bench is, I want to say 365. Um, yeah, and as far as PRs, those are really the only lifts that I actually do PRs for. I think it looks like there's, oh, this the shadow for the flag over here, for, for over here. And my neighbor has a flag that's waving in the wind. <clears throat> and that's what I'm looking at. Um, but yeah, those are basically my three PRs, squat, bench, deadlift. Um, Oh, body fat percentage as well. Uh, I just measured it this morning. I was at 6.86% body fat. Um, I'm going to make a post on Facebook. Well, probably not tonight because it would not be a good time to do this, but (laughs) probably tomorrow around... 5 p.m. I'm going to make a post. I've been trying to do uh, monthly updates on my weight and body fat percentage um, <clears throat> just for people to follow along if they so please. Um, but my body fat percentage has been going down pretty consistently for the past four months. I think I started around around four or five months ago. I was at like 9.8 or something and then it was like 9.1 and then 8 point something and then you know 7.8 and then 7.1 and I'm thinking about like 6.86 so it's been pretty consistently going down don't want to get too lean uh, I'll probably stop around do it as short 
what like my update for my um, body fat and all that kind of stuff. Do you mean like a progression of all of the body fat percentages and weights, or just each each month when I do when I show my body fat percentage and all that? Do that as a short. Because I can see that actually going either way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Man, there's... <clears throat> there's so much that I could and should be doing. <laughs> That's actually a glint once a month. Yeah, I'll do that. Last question for me. Is your wife as hardcore on the fitness side as you? If so, let's see that dynamic as well. So she's actually more hardcore than I am. Um, she gets up. Okay. So she's more hardcore in the in, in the aspect of she goes to the gym twice a day, every day. Um, so we have a 10-month-old or almost 11 month old now. Um and she's, you know how it is in the fitness world. You look at yourself, you think one thing when you actually look a different way. Like you think like maybe if you gain like a couple pounds, you're like, oh my God, I'm big compared to, you know, I'm, or I'm just fat or whatever. But in reality, you're like maybe just a tiny bit bigger than before and you still look good. Um, but in your head, especially if you're into fitness and that kind of stuff, any little increase in weight, you're like, start freaking out. Um, so you can imagine how it is for, you know, being pregnant and have and gaining like, for some reason she gains a lot of weight when she's pregnant. Um, but it, it doesn't seem like it's fat. It's just like, I don't know, like probably goes to her head or something. <laughs> but uh, she gained like, I want to say around 60 pounds. So she's naturally around 145-ish and she got up to like 195 or, or around 200. Um and she's like five, six, I want to say. Um, but she's been, of course, you lose a little weight as soon as you have the kid because the weight of the kid is lost. And then, you know, fluids and all that other kind of stuff. But so she's trying to get back to her pre-baby weight and look as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and she's actually been going to the gym twice a day, pretty much every day, very consistently. Like, I wish I had her drive when it came to, uh, like, being on time and showing up and all that kind of stuff. I'll do it if it's convenient for me, but she does it no matter what. So she gets up at 4 o'clock. Or no, no, she gets up at 4.30 a.m. every day, like clockwork. She's out the door by 4.45. She goes to Orange Theory which I don't know if they have Orange Theory where you guys are at. Um, she goes to Orange Theory, does that for an hour, comes back home, uh, starts working, doing whatever. And then around, around noon, she'll go to the gym, to like the gym gym and lift. And then she'll come home. And uh, yeah, that's her routine for the day. We both do intermittent fasting. She fasts or her eating window is from Oh my, yes, she's crazy. Her her eating window is from six to two, I believe. So that's a, a eight hour eating window. Um, so she stops eating at two p.m. Yeah, she's a, she's a fucking beast. Um, and you can actually, if you if you're adding me on Facebook or anything, you'll see a picture of her on there. Um, but yeah, like I said, her eating window is from six a.m. to two p.m. Um, and she's pretty, pretty strict on that. Um, me, I go to the gym. My mind is more flexible just cause I have my own business and everything. Typically I go to the gym at either five or five thirty PM or, uh, nine ish PM. My eating window depends on when I go to the gym. If I go around five, I'll eat afterward. So around eight ish sometimes even later nine ten um and i do just a one meal sit down eat as much as i can in 
basically two hours and everything I get down, that's it for that time or for the rest, you know, the rest of the day. And then the next day up until whatever time. So if I go to the gym, uh, around nine, like I did today, then I'll before I, I go to the gym. So today I ate from like six thirty to eight. Um, and then that's it. I don't eat anything after the gym. I'll just drink some water and go to bed. Well, I'll probably, it's like one o'clock. I'll probably stay up to like two or something, but, um, yeah, I'll drink some water and fucking play video games. Who knows? Go to bed. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, her, she's also more strict on her diet too. Like she, um, she counts her macros. She eats like super clean, uh, you know, fish, rice, fucking veggies, all that kind of stuff. So she eats very clean. I eat pretty clean too. I actually eat what she makes me. So she preps my food for the week. Uh, every Thursday, she'll prep my food uh, for the entire week, and I just eat what she makes me. But it's always, it's always healthy food. So I'll eat basically, I'll eat three meals a day in one sitting. So I'll eat three. I'll get put three meals in the tub in uh in the microwave, set it all out in front of me, and get my whole spread, and then eat it eat for fucking two hours while I'm watching like uh, Netflix or something. And um, yeah, once I'm done, I'm done. That's it. If I can't eat all of it, then put it in the fridge for the next day. But yeah. So to answer your question, long winded answer to your question. She's uh, pretty, pretty hardcore when it comes to her, her fitness goals and everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, I plan on doing some some stuff with her. I'll it'll probably be it'll probably be uh, once I get my name up, like get my name bigger a little bit, just because. I don't know. I feel like uh, I don't know. This could just it's it, it's probably just me, but I feel like there are so many YouTubers that uh, try to use try to use their wife as like clickbait. So it'll be a picture of like a dude, you know, ripped or whatever, about to do a workout, and then they're like in the thumbnail it'll be him, and then their wife like showed around turning their or, or turn around showing their ass. And uh, I feel like that's kind of clickbait, you know what I mean? So I don't want to be known as the the clickbait guy or anything like that. I want my I want my content to be good because it's good. And then if I have people on my channel with me, you know, doing whatever with me or anything like that, <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night be on my time. Uh, yeah, Central Time. Oh, so that's clickbait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true, but we need to see you all out intense one another. <laughs> anyway, glad you're back. It's been too long. Don't play us. Be consistent with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm not going to play, y'all. Like, it's, it's hard because, uh, I mean, it's not hard to be consistent, but it was before, I will say, actually, it's it's like, it was just me being inconsiderate. Like when you have people that follow you or that like to watch you or are entertained by you or get information, especially if it's, if it's educational, like I try to make my videos. Um, when you give somebody a good source of information, it's kind of fucked up to just say like, okay, here's a little taste of what you can be getting, but mm, I don't really feel like doing it anymore. Send notification. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that probably like an hour, an hour before I uh, go to the gym. I'll set it up to where it'll say nine o'clock. I'll be heading to the gym. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, do, doing uh, being a content creator for whatever is like I said, especially if it's educational stuff. Um, you kind of have a responsibility to those people that are learning from you um well sometimes you probably got tired and you felt like a job yeah 
but also um i just didn't see i didn't see like the humans behind the numbers you know what i mean like if there was a one one view it's just like oh there's a one it's not like one person watched this and found it interesting and learned something from this which in real life if i was talking to somebody one person and told him some information and he or she liked that information and appreciated what they got like that would be a big thing but on a you know on a video you get a one which i don't i haven't gotten any ones but you know you get a thousand or you know five thousand whatever you think it like oh well this person's getting that much so it must not be that important of a video but five thousand people watched it that could mean that five people thousand or five thousand people uh learn something from it which is a lot more than zero so i don't know it's it's kind of hard or it's kind of easy to um disregard the number when you kind of don't uh humanize it and that's kind of what made it easier for me to just uh kind of step away from it and be like oh well i'm not too built up yet so it's pretty easy to just you know walk away right now not necessarily walk away but you know just stop and not have to think about anybody but i mean i would still get (laughs) that was you (laughs) i'll remember that (laughs) um but yeah once i started getting like messages i mean i still got like uh or not messages like comment comments on videos uh like every month they'd be like you know where you at man we miss you You, where the fuck you go you disappear like are you alive all the kind of stuff and I was like, yeah, I'm still here, just doing something else. And yeah, I guess it just got to me like, yeah, there's really no reason why I'm not doing this. So, fuck it. Before I started it up today, I was 100% like ready to like just stream to myself. Like zero people watching, just being like, you know, having a conversation with myself pointing the camera at me as if people are watching but i got six of you right now and it got up to like 12 at one point so that's that's good that's a that's a good start in my eyes well there's 18 likes on here so at least 18 people watched it so that's those are good numbers for me i appreciate all of you but yeah, let me check the time. One seventeen. All right. I used to be a webcam model and it felt like a job. Damn, for real? That's crazy. What kind of webcam model? Do I want to know? I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> I mean, shit, it can be a job. <laughs> It can be like a job. Shoot, whatever you do, as long as, as long as you're making it uh have set hours and all that kind of shit, then it can be a job. After I made my money, I quit. Hey man, no, no judging, no judgment whatsoever. You do, you fucking make that money. Even if you gotta show people your butthole, you make that money. Don't nobody care. Oh, I guess people do care. I guess that's the point. <laughs> oh, shit. But. <laughs> but. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to get off here. Go drink like a half a gallon of water and go to go to bed. Thanks, man. I'll check you out tomorrow. Thanks. I'll be, like I said, yeah, I'll put up the notification like an hour, an hour ahead of time so that you all can, like I said, get your popcorn and your pop and get comfortable. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you got anybody that's, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be that dude. It always feels weird to me. Um, You're good people. Thank you. It it always kind of feels weird. Like whenever I see YouTube videos where they're like, like and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm kind of like, 
did that's not weird to you? Like asking people to like, like do that. I don't know. It's it's just kind of weird. I, it, it feels weird saying it. Like like my video, subscribe to my page, like tell people about me. Like go if you have a friend that you think might like my shit, go tell them too. And you know maybe they can watch. I don't know. I have, I really don't know why. This is why I was never good in sales because I'm not like a hard closer. I can't just be like, this is what you need to do. Go do it. <clears throat> it's not weird. I know it's not actually weird. It's just, it's weird for me. I guess I'm too, uh, uh, I'm not aggressive enough when it comes to that, when it comes to like marketing myself and that kind of thing. Because I'm too, uh, people dead ass forget to do it. That's true. I guess, yeah, I guess if I look at it that way, uh, yeah, it, it depends how you, how you frame it or not in your head anyway. If I were just like, subscribe to my shit because I'm awesome. And that would be, to me, that'd be like, okay, chill the fuck out. But we're your biggest fans. I believe you. Yeah, that is a YouTube thing. Everybody, everybody's like, fucking like, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, but yeah, if I was just like, you know, like my shit because I'm, I'm, I am the shit, that would feel weird. But I'm like, hey, don't forget that you can, there's a like button on there and it helps me out. And there's a subscribe button that also helps me out. And this and that, like, yeah, that I, that I understand. <clears throat> so I'll just think about that if I ever say that. But, um, yeah. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, you're back. I'm fucking leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> that icon leg workout to this day. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Rocco hype. I was literally just uh, peacing out, t- saying my goodbyes. But I'll be on uh, nine o'clock tomorrow, nine p.m. tomorrow. Um, I'll be doing quads and calves with some hip flexor stretches. If you got any requests or request for information or anything on some leg stuff. Even if you think about it tonight, uh, whenever I get on tomorrow, let me know. Let me know what you got. <clears throat> so, like and subscribe to my shit, because I'm the shit. <laughs> uh, but we'll be here, yes. All right, good. But all right, y'all. I'm going to get off here. Um, yeah. Live, laugh, love three L's. I'm just kidding. I heard that on the podcast. I ain't gonna say that shit every time. But Alright, I'm turning this fucking light off and <laughs> damn, I miss everything. <laughs> like I said, I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here uh 9 p.m. So if you wanna watch a good leg workout, I'll, I'm gonna send a I guess that's a nice time, good time to say this. Hit, uh, you know, subscribe so whenever I send out the notification that I'm going live, you'll see it. So you can check it out tomorrow if you want. But all right, everybody, I don't have some fancy outro or anything. So yeah, have a good night or morning, wherever the hell you're at. Probably nighttime, but uh, have a good night and um. Have a good night, brothers. Thank you. You too. And yeah, enjoy yourself. Get us lots of sleep so you can uh, stay up with me tomorrow till 1 a.m. again. All right. Peace out, guys. <laughs>